is the Mike Cal the show. It's 1025 the bone. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 10th, 2024, and we are coming to you live. How's everybody doing today? Good. Woo. Everybody's back today. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Carmen, are you there? Yes. Good Hi, morning. Carmen. How are you? Hi. I'm good. How are you? You should see Gio. He Rough. lost 15 pounds since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm- it really did. Yeah, I weighed myself. It was like eleven pounds almost. Are it's, you serious? Yeah, it's I'm, crazy. When you walked in, I I wasn't even joking. I you look like you've lost weight. It's hilarious. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> be funny or anything. I'm still swollen from the cruise. You know when you eat yeah. that food yeah. and it just swells Sodium. you up. I couldn't wear my flip flops yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and Hellboy feet. It was uh, yeah. So you were? Would you have the same thing your uh, your cousin had? Yeah, the fact that I was in the room with him when he was sick is pretty much what they said. Wow passed it along i felt fine when i got off the boat like 100 not the kiss yeah <laughs> we were making out the whole time and what was it a stomach flu oh, okay yeah i thought you had like food poisoning or something i don't know if it was from that they that's what they yeah. the walking if it was said food it was. poisoning more people around us probably would have had it that's what i think yeah unless you know what i mean guys Eat something. Let's add strawberry red ice yeah, cream. Yeah, red ice something. cream. Oh, that red <laughs> ice cream is so good. <laughs> oh, man. 100% cream, that red ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, but when I got off the boat, I felt 100% fine. And then halfway through the drive home, I was like, whoa, dude, you need to pull over. <laughs> you didn't feel 100% fine because I saw Gio as I was getting off the boat, <laughs> boat and he's uh, leaning on the rail. And I go, what's going on? And he goes, Todd had to go back to the thing. Oh, yeah. I, I saw two lines going this way and Todd walking through. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, pardon me. Why did he have to go back? Well, because he was, since he had gone to the infirmary, they have to check you out a different, oh. a different way. So we get all the way through, you know, the lines, you know, the boat and right. they stop him. So I'm ready to go. You know what I mean? And now gotcha. I had to wait like a half hour for him to come back. Oof. Oh, man. What a, just that, just that day of being, I mean, I, I spent the day home yesterday like I was sick. I didn't do anything. I just didn't didn't feel like moving and you know, it was really. And yeah, you got to recoup. Right. My daughter is home with uh, a fever and her yeah. throat hurts and all that stuff. So we just had a sick day yesterday. I'd never been that sick in my life. I thought I was going to die. Mm. Yeah, Gio, I'm going to tell you right now. I had food poisoning one time and uh, my, I, I was laying there. It was before we had kids. I was laying there by myself in the bed. And I thought, I understand now. I understand why people who have cancer and other diseases go, just let me die. Just take oh. me. I mean, I, I honestly, uh, I if you would have said to me at that point, you can choose death or you could be in pain <laughs> like this for the next couple of days, I would have been like, bring me yeah. death. Ooh, yeah. And then shortly after that conversation that I had with God, I got out of bed and uh, went to go pee and all of a sudden started feeling nauseous and threw my guts up and whatever it was was out and I felt immediately better. Yeah, well, this so. didn't go this way. It no, was continuous no, yeah, for yeah, yeah. several yeah. hours. Crazy. Well, uh, we're all here and we're all accounted for and then Joe knows the day, so we're all in good shape. Your mic's not on. <laughs> Still not. <laughs> Still By not. the way, yeah. can I just point out the entire time we're talking, all I hear over here is, <laughs> uh, all right microphone not on yeah. not on just because he's closer to me yeah. I can. <laughs> you're welcome mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. anytime oh anyway <laughs> um today's a special day does anybody know what it is today is pointed out to me by the listeners because i didn't know either april 10th 2024 it is our something anniversary. It is. I do know. Uh, I'm going to say 11 years. No, that can't be right. Eight years. Of what? Of us in mornings. No. Okay. It is our anniversary. Of, I know, but I think. I, oh, I, uh, of us stop, stopping the music. No. Yeah. Carmen says no. Carmen says no. I, I don't know what you're thinking of, Carmen. Oh. Look, I don't I don't dislike Pink Floyd. I hate them because they made us play this <laughs> in the middle of the morning at seven o'clock when we had when we were like in fourth or fifth place. <laughs> all all of this is playing on the air. Yes. Ugh. Uh two things. One, we used to play Lunatic Fringe by Red Rider, and John Brennan said he would get scared when he was in the studio because that would come on and go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Doing that, whatever. And then the thing that really put it over the top that just you could not believe. I couldn't believe. You could not believe. As much as I love Led Zeppelin, John Bonham is my favorite drummer. Everything he does is fantastic. We were playing Moby Dick 
with the drum solo. Oh, no. With the drum solo. I was like, they're playing the version with the drum solo. Do you know how long that is? No radio edit? No, that wasn't, no even, radio edit. That wasn't even the bad one. There was another one. No, that was, that was, that's crazy. But that's, it, it, whatever it was had the drums. It was, no, no, we were playing an instrumental. Yeah, Moby Dick. That had the drum solo, you're right. You're yeah. right. Now I remember. I remember going to Keith and going, listen. I know I complain about the music, <laughs> and I haven't said anything in a while, but will you just listen to this song with me? Will you just listen? And he's like, what's the problem? I go, it's a 12-minute instrumental. <laughs> I go, an instrumental song with a drum solo. And he, the next day, it was pulled from the thing. I was uh, like, come on. Somebody's yeah, got to I mean, be that's, attention that's to this garbage. crazy. And if you tried to drop a song during the hour, you'd catch a bunch of hell, right? Gio, we caught so much hell. Yeah. I mean, we were hell was a base level for us because we were like, <laughs> If they gave us six six songs an hour, we were playing four right out of the gate just because we had we were talking, we had stuff yeah. to do, and then a lot of times it would slip by, and then somebody would go, "Hey, uh, you guys only played three songs yesterday," and we go, "Yeah, we were on a roll. We had a guest, and we did this." And well, you can't. You got to play this song. Yeah. All right, I'm not gonna play them though, and uh, I'm here. He's not. So it seems that worked out better for me. Yeah, it that was wild. <laughs> I know back then dropping a song was a big like no no. Yeah, like you really, you worse really, for you. You've effed up big time if you dropped a song. Right? Worse for you because you had uh, a different uh, operations manager, yeah. and he he was the one who was making the the logs and all that yeah. stuff. Our program director was getting bonuses on the fact that we were dropping songs and our ratings were going up. So, you know, it, he he was cool. It's not his fault. He was doing his job, and we don't we don't we were taking it out on him at the time, but. He was doing his job, John Larson. He was he was an all right guy, you know. I don't know. I just what? how many how many years though has it been since we uh, played music to you? Or oh, I didn't know. Hmm. I think it's twelve. Remember, right towards the end though, they tried to change the music and they started adding in more modern stuff. Like there was like Lincoln Park and Stone <laughs> Temple Pilots and yeah, that was right, like right before the end of the music, uh, they tried to like change it. Right, and I thought um, this will be good because we can. If we go head to head with ninety eight rock yeah. and we're playing music, we'll crush them. And uh, then they were like, "Yeah, well, we're pretty much we're gonna, we're getting to a point where we're not going to play any music at all." And I went, oh, "Okay." So I remember playing. Um, I I just started playing whatever I want towards the end. We were playing uh, uh, "Run to the Hills." Yeah, because Iron Maiden was coming to town. <laughs> uh, they would pl they would play a song by. Foo Fighters and like, oh no, this is a better song. And I would just change the song. Nobody uh, cared at that point. Uh, yeah, because right at the end where they got rid of the music, I was going to do a specialty show and do a Saturday night like hair metal oh, yeah. show. All right. uh, but then they got rid of the music and then they're like, <clears throat> hey, we're not going to be able to play the music anymore because we're not going to pay all that stuff, whatever. I was like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't care. But I mean, do you guys think you'd be able to talk for like a yeah. full hour? <laughs> that's with, the oh, best. With no music? Yeah. I mean, not even a full hour, just, you know, talk for minutes? a long time. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. So this is, this is great because this is all on Bob Neal's shoulders. The guy who used to, the guy who used to run this company radio wise lived here in St. Petersburg. And he would listen to the stations, and they would tell me all the time, they're like, Bob Neal will hotline you if you play a wrong song or if you drop a song or whatever. And I go, okay. I, in my entire life, I have never been hotlined. The, like, the hotline means the program director will call on, on the special line and be like, why are you doing that? What are you doing? And you yell at you. It's never happened to me ever because I never really had to play um, music. You know, I never was like a hot jogger. So... Bob Neal would live here and he would complain to our program director when we didn't do, when we dropped the song or whatever, but he would never call us. And I remember one time, uh, Ann Kelly told me that she was like, Bob, uh, Bob has been known to call the hotline and just berate the, the guy on the air or whoever and yell at them. I go, yeah, that'll be my last day here. And she's like, well, he won't get fired, but he'll, and I go, no, no, he'll, he'll be my last day. Cause I'll tell him to go F himself. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I'm not I'm a grown man. I'm not going to be yelled at by another man for th that, you know? So anyway, they kept making us play music. And yet when we started playing eight songs an hour, the ratings were pitiful. Then we dropped down to six songs an hour and the ratings jumped massively. Then we, then we started dropping a couple of songs and the ratings were up again. So it was very clear that people weren't listening to us for the music. It wasn't the music that, that, that was attracting them. They can go to any station. They can go to their iPhones for music if they wanted. And then, uh, you know, the less music we played, the better we did. And that idiot said to our boss at the time that he doesn't think that we 
have enough to talk about to fill an hour of talk. <laughs> and now now we're the most listened to show in the entire market for the longest time and he's not in radio yeah. anymore. And now we get yelled at sometimes because we go so long. Too long. <laughs> yeah. We talk too much. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> that the lady that's in charge of the commercials will wait outside the studio for you used to whenever we were in there. <laughs> the the best I that's not even the guy that I hate the most. I, I don't hate that guy at all. The only reason I don't like him is we'd see him in the hallway and he never even introduced himself to me. The entire time that I worked here, he never said hi to me, never introduced himself to me and nothing. And I was like, Okay, you know, I, I I remember going, I've never met him, I've never seen him. And they're like, yes, you have. And I go, I've never seen him in the halls. And they're like, yes, you have. I go, how is that possible? And they go, little guy wears a baseball hat. And I go, yeah, he doesn't He doesn't dress like an executive. He's just a little nerd. And uh, and now, and they were right. I, and now I was like, oh, yeah, I saw that nerd. I thought he was like a promotions guy or something. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> uh, and then, what else, Galvin? There was There was more nonsense that we had. To deal with who, at the time. who is the guy that you said you hated more though? You don't hate him. Who you hate? Louis Louis Albertini. He was the guy who, when I was doing mornings at the country station, they came in and they were like, uh, the, "We had two country stations in one building. We didn't need two, and one wasn't doing great. And the problem was, in order to to make one do good, it had to chew into the other one, and they didn't want to risk that. So they were going to change." the outlaw station that I was on to, to a Spanish station. So they hire this guy who used to be in radio but was now working at funeral homes. No lie. No lie. They hire him to change the stations back to uh, to a Spanish station. So they say to him, we don't want to fire this guy. We think he's got something. We want to put him somewhere. So his exact words were, he listened to the show for a week. He doesn't hear it. He doesn't think that I'm good. He, oh, he was like, he listened to me. He says he doesn't hear it. I was like, okay. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan of your work. <laughs> Carmen, you don't listen. <laughs> so he comes into town, flips the station. Station does well because the market needed a Spanish station. Um, but uh, then he, I don't want to, let's just say there are some things that happened and he doesn't work in radio anymore. Oh. Yeah. So he had it all right. He was also giving it from what I understand. Oh boy! Yeah. So that that makes me laugh. That just uh, it makes me laugh. The people who can, I have an ear for it. I can hear it. This guy doesn't have it. Uh, uh, <laughs> somehow it worked out. That whole era feels like it was forever ago, right? Like maybe you, Gio. I wake up every morning and it's still in my soul. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I've told this story plenty of times before, and I'm going to tell it again. Day that they hired me, I was so excited. My mm -hmm. wife was pregnant. I had just gotten fired. I was yay, this is great, blah blah blah. And then John Larson called me up and said, "Hey, you want to come over to my house and work on the clocks for the show?" And I was like, "Yeah, whatever. I'm that's fine." And I drove over to Feather Sound, went to his house, came down, sat down at the dining room table. I was so excited. I'm back in radio. Here it goes. Going to be great. Pulls out the clock and it's got eight songs an hour in it. And I go, well, we're, no, we're not going to do this one, right? He goes, yeah. And I go, but this is eight songs an hour. He goes, yeah. I mean, maybe you could drop one. And I go, I've never played eight songs an hour in my life. And he's like, well, that's what we got to do. And immediately, I felt my bowels evacuate. I was like, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, I you I felt go, like Geo yesterday, yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. I I have never lost control of my bowels like I did at that moment. I went, okay. And then when can I use your bathroom? And he said, yeah. And I thought, I am going to crap. In, in my new program director's house in this in a half bath that's seven feet from where we're standing <laughs> i was i didn't know what to do i was miserable but we had to do it <laughs> when you gotta go you gotta go you gotta go, yeah. you gotta go you gotta go that's it it was so go. upsetting it drained you <laughs> it drained me and i mean usually if they would have been like and we're gonna pay an hourly wage in the beginning <laughs> that's what i would fear but when they said the eight songs an hour i i I mean, I'm surprised I didn't throw up because I was so involuntarily <laughs> pooping at the same time. It was just, it was just hard. So. Now you can't leave. Yeah, you're stuck. Yeah. Well, happy anniversary, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, it just, it brings me back, Alvin. Yeah, it brings me back <laughs> to a time I don't really want to remember, but I'm very glad. I, well, I'm not. The good thing is, like, I remember those things, and I go like this. I go, <laughs> that's funny. I'm not bitter. I'm not like good, right. good for you guys. Like, I don't. It all worked out fine for me. The, Ones who are supposed to be here are still here. The ones who aren't, aren't. And that's just how it goes. There it uh, is. And so there's another anniversary. Oh, is that not the one you were talking about? Yeah, no. There's something else, which was 10 years ago. I don't know if it was exactly on this date or maybe yesterday. Someone changed their name. Oh. Hmm? Oh, really? 
Yeah. Yeah, because they coincided, right? That's when we pretty much dropped the music oh, yeah. when we when we did the name change. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Uh-huh. So like I said, I don't know if it was yesterday, but I looked at my memories and I was tagged in the roast pictures. Uh, so yeah. it was back when you transitioned. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait. Good for you. It's been a long process, but yeah. stand by. I got to blow yeah. my nose. That, that was a fun party that night. <laughs> I would say it's the most fun thing we've ever done. That really was. Uh, I agree. I don't know. I think the we've most fun, fun thing stuff. we've ever done was the postcard in. <laughs> no, oh, no. I, I disagree <laughs> with that. No, that. I mean, that was fun and everything, but this, uh, that came together in the way it came together yeah. in the way it went off. I mean, it was, it was great. That, I thought that was the awesome. Grammatica punch out at Janice, oh, like, right neck and neck. Yeah. For me, oh, the the Grammatica punch out. Yeah, that uh, was a blast. Yeah. Poor Smiley, she's right next to you, and you didn't oh. say the Spanish yeah. <laughs> No, it's all right. That, it, I, it was a blast. It was not only a blast, but I remember going to the bars afterwards and being like, I'm pretty sure I have whiplash. Shots all around. <laughs> you want to know what it did it for me? I was in the hotel room about a block away, and I was just sitting there going, I don't know if anybody's going to come to this. Like, It's a free <laughs> event, but I don't know if anybody's going to. And now they're saying it might rain. Mm-hmm. And I, I was sitting at the edge of the bed. Like sweating it out for a second, I almost went John Larson and pooped about it. <laughs> and I, I was thinking, I was thinking, this is, yeah, if we can get a bunch of people there around the ring, it'll look cool, you know. And then Mike Olivero sent me a picture, and he said, "I just want you to know, it's raining outside, and the line is almost around a mile long. Yeah. It was down, yeah. down around the corner and up the. I was like, wow. Do you remember? Then I got all excited. Do you remember our text conversation before Olivero sent you the photo? No. So I was upstairs talking to my <laughs> trainers in a mirror, and you were like, "Hey, how's it looking?" And I was like, "Uh, you know, it looks all right." And you go, "Can you send me a photo?" And I sent you a photo, and there was only like 10, 15 people standing out front at that point because it was still very early. Right. And you were like, oh, man. I was like, what? Don't be. I didn't do it. Don't yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Constantly bringing me down. Yeah, I'm sorry. But yeah, that, that was slam packed. Oh, my God. That was when I got there and I saw all those people and the setup that we had. It was it was great. People it really made was. Signs, yeah. yeah. It was really cool. Shirts were made. We need, we need to do the same event and figure out a different thing in the middle. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They won't let us do punch out anymore. I mean, let's face it, somebody did leave in an ambulance once. <laughs> and that's not what you want. Well, yeah. that, you know. <laughs> I mean, uh, doesn't nah. matter. Let's just assume. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether they belong to the ambulance or not. We did discussing discuss something, though, that may be able to bring that back. We could say it. You want to say it? Sure. What if we did it at sea? Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. What if we no did? Rules. Yeah. Celtic Cruz punch out. <laughs> yeah, we can use weapons. No, Bro, oh, that would get crazy. I yeah. mean, Take you know, easy. but like, how, you know, well, the only thing, the only hurdle there, I think, is the cruise line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sign a waiver. Would be yeah. liable for it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we we got to find a, an island in the Bahamas to Dude, do it. We listen, do it in Nassau. Yeah. What if we say? <laughs> what if we just tell everybody? Listen, let's agree. If somebody gets hurt, we. Cut their Achilles and throw them overboard. Yeah, and none yeah. of us saw nothing. Yep. Chum the water. <laughs> that guy's still missing the, from the last cruise. <laughs> yeah, not our cruise. Not our cruise. Uh, anyway, it would be it would be nice to bring it back. It probably will never happen, but um, you know it is what it is. Yeah, reigning champ. Stay the reigning. We might champ. have to do it, but bring it in the basement somewhere and do it uh, <gasps> five club, club style. Yeah. <laughs> First rule. Hell Wait yeah. a second. Can't even have to talk about it. It's the only way to get it. Out. I know where we do it. We could do it the second night we're on the cruise up in the Viking Lounge because apparently nothing's going yeah, on there. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That was so funny. We went up to, <laughs> we went up for a big disco party and there was no music. Yeah. And the lights were on. Yeah. And we were like, okay. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, great times. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for what's going on. I'm excited to never play Pink Floyd again. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You still going out of the pier and sitting in your hammock? You know I am, Michael. I don't know. You know. I don't know what goes on in your life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love going out of that sitting in the hammock. It's nice. How like Sunset kind of sucks on the pier, but... but... Like, how often do you go down there? Um, I usually try to go at least once a day. Take the dog. For real? Yeah, yeah. Walk around the pier. Yeah. It's what happens when there. you're in the hammock? What do you do with the dog? Oh, the dog sits in the hammock with me. Oh, yeah. yeah, Jenkins loves it. Mm-hmm. Little dog. Yeah, yeah tiny little, little dog. Guy. Don't call Spanish. Little, yeah. <laughs> little guy, little dog. <laughs> yeah. he. I mean, that dog has become so friendly. It's, it's ridiculous. Magnet. Really? It is. Yeah. yeah. He is so I think my, friendly. You're saying my mother used to beat him? <laughs> I, I know. I don't, I don't think your mother used to beat him. Spanish. There's a lot of things that have happened to me in my life while I'm alone that I wish some of the people could see because that, like, that would have been funny. <laughs> But nothing's funnier than me for one hour 
trying to catch that dog in my mother's house <laughs> for a, oh, I almost said the F word for a full hour. <laughs> yeah. I chased that dog around the house yeah. and it would sit there and I'd get too close and it would haul ass. Yeah. Then I'd get it a treat. It was eating the treat. I go to snatch it. It would haul ass. Yeah. Like, You're smart, them. man. Yeah, they are. So sort of fast. That's you know what you do though? You know how you get them? Like it. No, you hold the leash open, like to one of the slip leashes, whatever. And then you hold the treat here and it goes, puts its head through. Oh, it. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I should have called the dog. Expert. I could have saved you 55 minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> <He's smarter laughs> than the dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Put yeah. it this way. I open the door. For a second to try and get the dog to hear the door and come to the door and it went ran out oh. and i just went well it's over well the dog finally likes me so that's good and like i said i love taking him out he loves people he loves girls oh, yeah. which is women he's awesome definitely well he, it, was, it was just him and my mom yeah yeah, so he'll. I. It's the best when the people will bend down to pet him. Like, oh, but please don't. No, it's very vicious. It's very vicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tiny little dog. Yeah, hand, one so. eye. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, good. Glad yeah. to see that that uh, Jenkins is doing good. Yeah, Jenkins loves the hammock. Yeah. He loves the sunsets and the hammocks. <sighs> I got a call yesterday from Bert. Oh. 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 So what? What is the uh, number now? Five calls in to one call back. No, he didn't mm-hmm. even call me back. He just called me out of the blue. Oh. And I go, Jesus Christ. And he goes, what? I go, 10 calls I haven't to you. I thought we broke up. <laughs> he's like, honestly, I swear, I didn't even know you called. And I go, oh, whatever. Yeah, because he's got handlers. Uh, right. Yeah, phones. Yeah. And I, I wasn't mad or anything. I was like, okay, whatever. And um, I had to break it to him. <laughs> I'm not running the 5K. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I go, no, I'm Wait, not running the 5K. <laughs> but you're coming out there like, I'm not running in the 5K. I go, here's what I'll do. I'll go, I'll come and do... Um, play by play if you need me to i'll uh you know i'll do commentary i yeah. said but there's no way i'm running you want it. me to be your proxy runner uh, no i don't <laughs> i i don't even want to go down i said look the, I, the only way i'll go is if me and jelly roll run together because i'm sure i could outrun jelly roll uh, there's no, there's I don't no know, jelly roll has been out there he's down at least 50 pounds I is know. he really yeah, yeah yeah he's been working with uh um what's his name gary uh uh, the guy with the hydrogen water, oh, Gary, um, whatever, burr, burr, whatever his burr, name is. Yeah, burr, but burr. Uh, but he's been working with him, and uh, he was down fifty pounds, and that was a few weeks back. Oh, good for him. So, what's that guy's <clears throat> name now? Bank, bank, breaking, breaking, breaking. Brecca, Gary, Gary Brecca. Brecca. Yeah, oh, close. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very close. close. Um, yeah, I still think that I can. That I could outrun Jelly Roll. Maybe not Definitely. faster, but longer. Speaking, I don't know. How's your foot going? My my foot? Yeah, how's, how's your, your foot, foot going? How's Is that foot? what you say to the people? <laughs> how's your foot going? Going good? What the hell are you talking about? Since you had like uh, that doctor smashing on your heel. It's my feet. Okay. And I still have one more time one I more have to, go? to go. Yeah. Is it helping? Yeah. Yeah? It helped a lot on the cruise. I, was, I had a lot less pain yeah. in the feet. Yes. That's Thanks good. for bringing that up. Yeah, so. man. Well, I uh, I'm not um, I'll be out there, but I'm not uh, I'm not running in the five k. <laughs> That's too bad. I'm sure, you people are disappointed. <laughs> Were yeah. you planning on already being out there for something else in this? Yes, yes. So same time and everything. He, I so it's so funny how it all worked out. There's a a show that my wife watches. Do you know what it's called, Calvin? The um the one on Netflix that I oh hate. um I think you should leave. Oh yeah, you should leave. <laughs> I don't find it funny. Because you're not funny. It, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell everything I need to know about people. <clears throat> if they don't like McGruber and they don't like, I think you should leave. Yeah. They're just not funny. Yeah, I don't like. It's not my. It's stupid humor. It's not my kind of humor. I don't mean unintelligent. It's just stupid. Like it's stupid stuff. I'm not saying I haven't smiled at it, and not some of it has made me laugh. But for the most part, that guy just screaming all the time, and and it just annoys me. Maybe if Galvin would have showed it to me and my wife didn't love it so much, I would be less annoyed by <laughs> that's it. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a big problem is uh, you hate your wife, so you don't like anything. <laughs> no, I, 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 fi- I think my wife is very funny, and she likes, we like, like, similar movies and stuff, but... But, like, everybody you like and think is funny likes it. Like, your I, wife, I think Bobby, I would... me... Like, we all like it and think it's funny, and you're like, I don't like it. Don't yeah, like it. it's just not my thing. You guys like it, so I don't like it. <laughs> no, no, it's just not It's not my type of thing. Like, I love Seinfeld, and I love uh, other situational comedy shows. This thing is just a silly, 
it's just all silly and it's not bad it's just not my kind of it doesn't make me laugh. like you know people laughed at the keystone cops you know and they would run around and fall down and all that and uh, like that's dumb but yet i love the three stooges you know it's just it's weird anyway that guy tim whatever is tim robbins is doing a show in los angeles and i bought my wife and my son tickets to go see that show because they both love yeah, that that'll show be cool yeah, and the reason why he's doing the show is because it's a Netflix comedy festival that week. So a lot of my friends will be out there doing shows, including Bobby. But it's also my niece Caitlin's graduation from USC Film School, so I want to go to that too. So it all works out that I'll have those couple of days to do all those things. And um, Bert is doing a show at the Hollywood Bowl. So while my wife and son are at that one show, I think I'm going to go to the Hollywood Bowl show with Bert and watch that. I think that'll be cooler. Uh, I believe that uh, Seinfeld and Jim Gaffigan and who is it? Someone Seinfeld, else? Seinfeld, Sebastian, Gaffigan, Sebastian, and Tom Papa. I think are the ones. Yeah, they are all, all doing together, a show. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a bunch. Thing. Of, there's a bunch of different ones. I don't find it. Seinfeld stand up to be funny. I've seen him three times, and all three times I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not that he's not funny. It's just that's not my stuff. But also, he was a lot funnier. Back. Before, yeah, because yeah, now it's kind of humor changes and he goes. He just makes observational humor, and it's, right. it's his style. And uh, same thing with Jay Leno. Jay Leno is one of the most successful comedians in our lifetime, and I literally fell asleep during the show. Like I <laughs> dozed off during the show. At clear, it's just it's like comedy made for your aunt, you know. And it's not that he's that good. One he, of Seinfeld's, I think, best jokes is uh, he says about how what he goes. You ever watching a commercial for the product that you're actually using at the time whatever he is the drink and they're on the beach and they're doing backflips and people are flying through the air and doing all of a sudden he goes i look at my drink i go maybe i'm putting too much ice in mine <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's, he's brilliant yeah. it's just not you know um uh paul verzi has a show uh while i'm out there bobby's doing the bonfire out there so um bobby is here april the first weekend in april i believe he's at mccurdy's in Sarasota. So I'm sorry, the first weekend in May. Uh, so uh, he's going to go straight from here to LA. I leave later that week to go to LA and uh, we'll be able to hang out out there. I, I uh, Santino also is coming here uh, the 26th or the 25th or whatever that is. He's coming in the studio with us. We got to get the, uh, the are you garbage guys on too, if we can, while they're here, they have a show. I don't understand this is one of those other things that pop that are you garbage podcast is pretty popular. Yeah. And, um, it's definitely popular in the comedy community, but to me, I don't, no one has ever come up to me and said in Tampa, Hey, have you listened to that? Are you garbage podcast? So to me, the fact that they're doing a show here, it's going to bomb. If I look, it's probably sold out. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no yeah. They're definitely popular. Uh, I like both of those guys. They're both yeah. likable. The heavy set guy, when he laughs, and he does that yeah, with his yeah, tongue. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's like he's ready to have a heart attack. He's like, ah! yeah. <laughs> he looks good, Foley. He he's on the Ozempic and he dropped a bunch yeah. of weight. Oh, really? Yeah, he looks good. Uh, Amanda uh, Jordan just told me it's uh, Nate Pargazzi that's with uh, uh, Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not Papa. Gaffigan. Nate yeah. Pargazzi. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah dude. Uh, those guys are those guys are great and. They were on, uh, you saw, you saw them on Burt's Cruise. Mm -hmm, they were yeah. on Burt's Cruise. Yeah, they were cool. I've been on their show. They've been on, uh, uh, the podcast before they're, they're good dudes. And, uh, I would go see them while they're here, yeah. you know? Um, and then Santino, I was talking to him about, uh, uh, his bad friends podcast with Bobby Lee. I said, when you guys are coming to the Mojave theater, I was like, this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> and he goes, why? I go, Bobby hasn't been in Tampa in 10 years. Bobby and, Lee. Bobby Lee. And. Uh, you have been here, and he goes, I don't think ever. And he goes, at least not for a long time. I go, yeah. I go, now you're just going to show up with your podcast and go on stage and think you're going to do good? Sold out. <laughs> Sold out. It's unbelievable. And he's like, well, thanks for feeling bad for me. I was like, no problem. No problem. That I, I will say to you that I think that that is the best podcast out there right now. Really? It Every one of those clips makes me laugh so hard. Santino is so racist to Bobby. Yeah. yeah. So not, I would imagine in his real life, he's not a racist gentleman, but to Bobby Lee, <laughs> it, it, it offends him. It makes him sad. But can we all agree that racism is funny? <laughs> I mean, it really 100%. is like, you're not doing it to be mean or hateful or anything. You're making fun of your friend. Hey, listen, nothing's funnier than Cam Patterson saying the N word. He said the other day, he came out on Kill Tony, and uh, Tucker Carlson was sitting in on Kill Tony. So good. And he came out, and he high-fived him, and Tony Hinchcliffe goes, 
Cam Patterson high fiving uh, uh, Tucker Carlson. And he goes, Yeah, man. My grandmother hate this N word. <laughs> 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 and he goes, Oh, come on. She doesn't really. He goes, Nah, N word. He does. She does. <laughs> Dude, the way he uses that is so goddamn funny. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm, af- I- I'm not afraid to laugh. At it, I just will never say it. Uh, <laughs> you won't catch me. Mm-hmm. All right, we got a good show coming up today. It is Wednesday already, which means Galvin has a brand new open letter that is happening later on on the program. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about, none of which I know. We got a shooting and armature works that we uh, have to mention. Mm-hmm. All that will be coming up in news. But we have a sporkle that is next on 1025 The Bone. All right, we have tickets for Brett Michaels, Stone Temple Pilots, Bush Gardens, and Heart and Cheat Trick. All right, let's do it. A little bit of sparkle. Here we go. Carmen is the keeper of sparkle. Pap Pap is your judge and scorekeeper. Spanish, what is the current situation? I am in the I am in the control. Yes, you have the rule. You have one win of your next five to get a second rule. Would All you right. like the year totals? Uh, no, that'll be an after okay. show. Gotcha. Thank, gotcha. thank you, uh, Carmen. What are we playing today? Okay, today we're playing three movies. One M actor, okay? I'm gonna be I'm gonna say three movies. You're gonna give me the actor that started in all three movies. Their last name all starts with M. Got okay? it. Got it. Your first one, Hudson Hawk, Groundhog Day, four right. weddings. Four weddings and a funeral. Did everyone um, answer? No, I didn't answer and I Michael. Know Hudson no. Hawk, Groundhog Day, four weddings and a funeral. Yeah, it's that girl and I can't think of her name. Andy McDowell. Oh, McDowell. Yeah. How do you not go St. Elmo's Fire in there? Huh? Your next one. The Rose, Ruthless People. Midler. Mike Kelta. Ghostbusters. Murray. Murray. Scrooge, Galvin. Oh, the Great Gatsby. DiCaprio. In education. <laughs> Drive. All actors. Wait, say what, with it, oh, what, are they, what are the movies again? I the Great Gatsby. In education, drive. Uh, Harry Mulligan. Mulligan. The Matrix, Memento, Fido. Ma- Aunt Moss. Mike Kelta. 28 Days Later, Sunshine. Murphy. Spanish. Ghost, A Few Good Men. More. More. Spanish. Carmen, I mean, can you turn yourself up a little bit, your microphone? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Yep. Beverly Hills Cop. Mur- Murphy. Professor. Murphy is correct. Spanish. Oh. Was that that was Michael, yeah, integrity. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Mike Mike gets the point. No judge. Point Michael. <laughs> <laughs> too fast, too furious. Once upon a time in Mexico. Hitch. Mendez. Spanish. Train spotting. Big McGregor. fish. Mike Calta, Fargo, almost famous. Big Spanish, the Queen, Red, Excalibur. Mirren. Who is Spanish. It? Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. Helen Mirren. Mirren. Yeah. And Pap Pap, where have we there? Gio is not on the board. Galvin with one point. Michael with four. And Spanish is your leader right now. He's winning with five. Oh, I don't like it at all. Great to be back. Mm -hmm. (laughs) All right. uh, Three movies, one M actor. Your next one, Richard III, Gods and Monsters, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Mortensen. Richard III, Gods and Monsters, The Lord of the Rings. McKellen. Michaelta. Uh, The Last King of Scotland, oh. Atonement, <laughs> X-Men First Class. The Last King of Scotland, Atonement, X-Men First Class. Magneto. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know it. Uh, too quick. M- M- Miller. James McAvoy. 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 I'm like, no. Mc- McAvoy. <laughs> no point. Dangerous Liaisons in the Line of Fire, Con Air. Malkovich. Mike uh, Galvin. Mike Galvin. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Galvin. Galvin got it. Boogie Nights. Hannibal. The Hours. More. 
Mike Calta. Cabaret. New York, New York. Arthur. More. No. Different uh, one. That is, uh... Cabaret. New York, New York. Benelli. Arthur. Yep. God, Mike I couldn't get it out. Calta. Gentlemen prefer blondes. Monroe. Monroe. Galvin and Pat Pap, we're on the last Ooh. three. <clears throat> Gio is not on the board. He mm. still has zero. Galvin with three points. Spanish with five. And Michael is your leader right now. He's winning with seven. Ooh. Oh. 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 You blew it, Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Three movies. You can come back, though. <laughs> One M actor. Last three. Here we go. Inglorious Bastards, Austin Powers, My- Wayne's Myers. World. Myers is correct. Pap Pap. Galvin. No, nah, it was Spanish. I did a My- Myers. <laughs> Tag- <laughs> yeah. Spanish the gets the point. Point Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> the Notebook, Wedding Crashers, Sherlock Holmes. McAdams. I couldn't oh, get it out. Yeah. I couldn't get it out. What do you need? One more? Or you yeah. guys tied? We're tied. Oh, All right. seven up. So oh. that and Army so, and Geo out? No, you, you can see block it. Oh, no, okay. they can't. You are tied. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you almost got me. Jesus. Right. You got this. All right, listen. just between Mike and Spanish, last one. Here we go. Cheaper by the dozen, Roxanne, father of the bride. Martin. Yeah. Uh, Woo, you know it. I would have got that. I would have got that. <laughs> I had it at cheaper by the dozen. <laughs> Your it. final score, Gio with zero on the board, yeah. Galvin with three, Spanish with seven, and Michael is your triumphant champion today. He won with eight. Now this is three plus two. Um, I had the three. R- correct. And I won two. So you have five in a row, yes. But two of your next five. Got it. Three of nine and then yeah, carry the one. Oh, God. four. What if there was a... <laughs> uh, if you win, then Q. All right. Well, Geo's here. We could do the rule. Fond memories of Geo throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> the gray in your mustache is weirding me out. Why? Because it looks yeah, dirty. It looks it's like an not, ashtray. It's not dirty. You no, know, I know it's not. It's just weirded <laughs> it's not, me out. I yeah. didn't say it was. It looks not, like an ashtray. It's, it's it looks dirty. like an, somebody put an ashtray on yeah, your face. Yeah, it's not an ashtray on my face. But thank you for the kind words. <laughs> ashtray face. Two, three, four. <laughs> what, uh, what's, what song are we supposed to sing? Love. Love exciting and new. That's all I know. We're waiting for you. Close enough. It is a love shack. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh, we have another cruise to announce. We'll announce that on Friday. Some people already booked for that cruise because they are uh, previous cruisers. Mm-hmm. The ones who were on the last cruise got to hear it and book first. So uh, hopefully they don't eat up all the sweets and stuff, but we'll announce the rest of it on Friday for Celtic Cruise 18. Mm, I'd like to eat some sweets uh, right now. Oh, Shall we order breakfast? Is that what you're saying? Oh I'm going to send that breakfast straight to uh, <laughs> straight to <laughs> size <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Delicious for everybody. All right, Galvin, what do we have coming up in news? Uh, coming up in news today, two fake fish, family jewels, and Mike got got. I got God? You got God. I don't even know about this guy. Yeah, oh, you got God. Oh, got I hate God. when I got God. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Galvin's got your news. We'll take a quick break, and we'll do that right after these commercials next on 1025 The Bone. All right, time to check in with Galvin. He has today's news. And now, news with Galvin on the Mike Calter Show. What do we have in news today, Galvin? Today's news is brought to you by Pelt Shoes. Let's just say you got off the cruise and your feet are all swelled up and yep. you need some shoes that will yep. fit your feet. We go my, Hellboy feet. My feet were uh, swelled up a little bit on the cruise when we were on there, but uh, fine now. But, yeah, yeah it was uh, it was weird. What is that? The That's drinking salt, or the Well, the, food the, the or sodium and all the food that they yeah. have. Yeah. Ooh, hey, can I ask you another question real yeah. quick? I know we're in the middle of a Pelt commercial. Yeah. Um, I'm not against it. I, I enjoyed it. But what's with all the Indian food on the cruise? Yeah, oh, I didn't even, good. it's not like I know, but it's not like I saw a large Indian group of people. They're like, we got to oh, cater really? to the Indians. You did? I saw a lot of Indian people. Oh, maybe, I did. I, maybe that I did. didn't work there. Sorry, Carmen. Maybe I don't yeah. notice race. <laughs> that, that didn't work there. But also, I'm just assuming it's who's ever the head chef. 
they kind of pick, you know what I mean? Because it's not I, always the same. I have to imagine that the Indian food maybe travels better and is uh, cost effective for them. You yeah. know what I mean? With a lot of rice and yeah, it was not bad. I was like. just curious why as to like why didn't they go? Hey, all Italian food or all Chinese food? Yeah. Like, well, they did the Italian the one. Beach, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but a lot of Indian. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And I blame my swollen feet on that. Uh, <laughs> well, if you have some swollen feet and you need some uh, shoes that are wide, uh, by the way, I'm always telling people about the Ultras. Yeah. Ultras with an A. They fit your feet. It's absolutely unbelievable. You can get those at Pelts. But also, right now, they're pushing the pickleball. Everybody's playing pickleball, so they have all the different brands that you love for pickleball shoes. Skechers, New Balance, K-Swiss, Asics. Not just pickleball shoes, any type of court shoes. They have athletic shoes, walking, running shoes. Of course, if you need some uh, fancy shoes for dinner or something or you got an event happening you need some heels some boots they have them all right there in stock at pelts ready to go they have six locations throughout pinellas sarasota and fort myers stop into a pelts today and make sure you tell them galvin from the mike kelter show sent you i just made a huge mistake what'd you do <laughs> try and bet on something and i'm looking through my uh all right spanish count this out okay, okay. i'm looking through my venmo okay for, for something all right spanish one Okay. Two. I guess we could just do it together. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> 27 deposits into the uh, Hard Rock app. Yeah. Boy, that when you look at it and you put numbers on it, that's a little excessive. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you don't even know how much each time I'm putting in. Jesus Christ. Yeah, you win big. So I won <laughs> I won $600 on UConn the other night. I won 600 bucks on that because I bet the under. I bet them to win by five and a half, more than five and a half. And bet them to win. And then last night for the Lightning, uh, do you remember me saying it yesterday? Yeah. I said, Lightning, you're playing tonight. I said, so you're going to bet on a uh, point to have a goal, uh, Kucherov to have an assist. I bet them to win by one and a half and to be under seven and a half and hit it all. hundred bucks, won me 750. Ooh, yeah. I like yeah, that. Baby. I like I that. Like way, nice. way better than what I just said. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, I haven't gone through all my deposits, though. Although Ooh. I did break it down my two weeks that I did break down at that time. I was up for two weeks. I was up almost five grand. Oh, you know, so, yeah. Yeah. I have not experienced Doing that. Doing all right. Uh, the parents of the teenager who killed four students in the 2021 school shooting in Michigan were each sentenced to 10 to 15 years in prison on Tuesday, weeks after being convicted of manslaughter. James and Jennifer Crumbly, who each faced up to 15 years in prison, have already been in prison for more than two years since their arrest in Detroit days after the shooting. Though they were tried separately, the sentencing took place together in an Oakland County courtroom. They are the first parents to be held criminally responsible for a mass school shooting committed by their child as the nation continues to grapple with the scourge of uh, gunfire on campus and mass shootings. I was I was shocked by this when it first happened with the mother and I was against it and then people <laughs> send me all the information of why she deserved to be in jail about how this kid had mental problems. They still provided a gun for him and they did nothing to secure the gun and uh, I think that's a good start as to where some of the blame is to be i'm not saying every parent is is to blame for their kids shooting up a school or doing something stupid i mean you know you, you kids are kids and they're going to go through hormone changes and they're going to go through mental breakdowns and you can't blame every parent for that but in this case i think there was a blatant a blatant disregard for what could happen with this kid if he had access to a weapon and unfortunately it happened so i i think that the fact that they're starting to punish the parents for this may be the first the first avenue to go down to stop these school shootings. It's crazy. It is crazy. And yeah, maybe this is the start of it, but we'll see what happens. It's with better it. than saying uh, other legal uh, citizens, other <laughs> upright citizens shouldn't ban their guns. That does nothing. Yeah. That doesn't stop anything. If somebody yeah. wants to get a gun and shoot up a school or a knife or a car and just run people over, they're going to do what they got to do. I was talking to Pete one time and Pete about, uh, we we're just talking about it. Pete said the words, if they want to get you, they'll get you. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, if they, if 100%. they figure out a way to get yeah. you, they'll, they'll get use you. a car, they'll use a bomb, they'll lose something. Did you see, I forget where it was, but there is a uh, crossing 
So I don't know whether it was a different country or whatever, but like whenever you cross the street, pedestrians, yeah. they have uh, where the uh, street light is, where the crosswalk is, where it says to go or stop or whatever, a uh, pile of bricks. And you take the brick and you carry it across with you so people aren't getting hit by cars because if you have a brick in your hand, <laughs> they don't want you to whip a brick at them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. How weird is that? That's pretty right. weird. Here's a brick. Take yeah. a brick and walk across. <laughs> Clearly, I, that, that worked before because they were like, put more bricks in I there. guess, yeah. That's weird. When I drove through uh, Colorado, there was one town we went through and they had flags on each side of the street and people were grabbing the flags and you'd walk with the flag. Oh, yeah. So like a leader. Him, yeah. 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 There was like buckets with flags on both sides and you'd walk as a pedestrian with the flag in your That's hand. Well, crazy. you see so many people walking, looking at their phone, oh, and yeah. just oh, walking into yeah. fountains and yeah. walking into manholes and every other thing, walking into people. And I always go, yeah, keep walking with your phone. Yeah. Yeah. I just walk right at them. There's no way I'm moving. No way I'm moving. You in the see- mall when they stop to use their phone in the middle of the road, I, oh. re- I walk right by and I go, yeah, no, no, stay right here. That's yeah. a good spot. Yeah. Have you guys seen the videos? All the people wearing the Apple glasses, like the augmented reality, no, yeah. and they're walking in the fountains. One guy got hit by a car. Oh, <laughs> but I don't see anybody with those. I haven't seen anybody in real life. But it's on... like the Cybertruck. I finally saw one. Yeah. Oh, we saw two. Yeah, they're everywhere the now. Yeah. yeah. Now they're everywhere. Uh, there was a guy with the Apple uh, Vision glasses on at one of the uh, Final Four things, whatever, and it was like right behind the bench. And the announcer's like. Now, why would he be wearing those? He's got great seats and blah, blah, blah. So you talk about him, idiot. That's yeah, why. Yeah. You know, <laughs> or he's like, what, couldn't understand. Or think about it. What is he seeing? If he's watching the game, right. and what kind of augmented reality he has, you know? Or st- you get the audio of being there and yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, four people were hurt during a shooting Tuesday afternoon near Armature Works right here in Tampa. Officers responded just after 4 p.m. to reports of a shooting in the area of the 1900 block of North Ola Avenue. Is it Ola or Ola Avenue? Uh, according to TPD, a disturbance between two groups quickly erupted into gunfire near the popular spot uh, near downtown Tampa. Four people were injured during the shooting, and three of those uh, victims were shot. The Tampa Police Department did not confirm how the other person was hurt, but all the victims have non-life-threatening injuries. Yeah, I uh, saw um, Eulalie sent out a thing that they had to close down, and they're not even really, they're like beyond it still, so it affected a lot of the businesses down there, and quite frankly, I'm surprised at the first thing. You know what I mean? Just, I don't know. This is the large gathering of people for a long time. This is the first real yeah. major event out One there. Man. Nobody really even knows. Guess who was there yesterday? Who? For lunch. Who? Barb and Kendra. Oh, oh no. no. Damn. Barb, got- did you have your six shooter with you? <laughs> I carry <Nah>. a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> they got back to my place around like 345, so they probably left like an hour before they oh, happened. Oh, wow. Yeah. Welcome crazy. to Florida. Yeah. yeah, they went down to they went down there just to have, like grab some lunch and stuff like that. Poor Barb, she's like, uh, I got out of Detroit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I come here to for gang violence. Uh, so we had spoke about this before. The photo of Greta Thunberg with her <laughs> Thunbergs. Uh-huh. <laughs> Guess what? Fake fish. Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. A viral photograph in April of 2024 uh, depicts uh, environmental activist Greta Thunberg being arrested at a protest. Somebody used a little uh, Photoshop and stuff, yeah, and made uh, big old boobies on her. And I stuff. Mean, Those the, are not the first her. thing I saw. I was like, first thing everybody yeah. saw, yeah, for sure. Wow, yeah, her. it's not real. That's not real. So. I saw the real That's picture bad. side by side, and they really, yeah. <laughs> it's some. Uh, she was quoted as saying, "How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Go big or go home." Yeah. Uh, your playoff bound Tampa Bay Lightning beat the Columbus Blue Jackets last night, five to two. Stammer had three goals wow. and an assist. Uh, an NHL points leader Nikita Kucherov picked up his fourth straight three point game with three assists. The Lightning take on the Senators on home ice tomorrow night at seven p.m. Good deal. That's yeah. the uh, play now. Play it hard now. I got to tell you, Stammer's coming on right at the right time. Like Kucherov's been Always, crazy the yeah. entire time. Stammer's coming on at the right time. Sorelli is coming. Uh, uh, who is the guy that they got? Uh, Duclair? Do is it Duclair? The black guy that they got? He's really good. He played for the Panthers for a little while, but he really fits into that system perfectly. Listen, the key, as long as Vasilevsky holds up, that's, oh, for that's sure. the key to winning right there. Yeah, yeah. So good for the Lightning. Uh, they have a few more games until the uh, playoff break, and then they are uh, all they, home games. I think like four home games. No. Five. Yeah, they they're home on uh, Thursday, and then uh, again on Tuesday, I believe. But yeah. let's see, there are some. They were here uh, last night. They're here Thursday, 
And then I think they're here one more after that. Uh, they're home tomorrow. They are away on Saturday. They are uh, home on Monday and then home on Wednesday. Yeah. So Saturday, they're uh, away against the uh, Capitals. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man, I got to tell you, they're uh, whenever they have power plays, they kill power plays and they score whenever they have a power play Which like all the time. Been a problem for them in the past, so But you can also bet on that as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not betting anymore after I saw my Venmo. Uh how about this? Everybody with the eclipse, all the different stuff that's going on, people talking about it all in different news stations and stuff. Well, a Mexican news station <laughs> was airing oh, saw this. viewer <laughs> videos oh, of the eclipse. You know, oh, we were at the park and this is what we got. Yeah. Uh, something may have slipped by them. I that have they sent didn't, this video around. I yeah. didn't yeah. realize it was a uh, man staging an eclipse where the uh, eclipse uh, was done by his jewels. Mm -hmm. uh, take a look on Bone TV there. Here's the eclipse and then, hey. uh oh, what's coming across? What's covering up? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. And then they cut back to the studio. I kind of I wanted to post that on the eclipse thing on our Instagram, but I figured I'd get I'd 100 get chunks oh, for yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Well, and I'm wondering if that's because we talked about Tommy Lee that he had a post taken down, right? And that I think probably that's was the one he put up. What it was because they were wondering whether it was <laughs> actually him because he's right, been known Joe. to do that, Take you know, <laughs> do that stuff. That's funny. <laughs> uh, a 52 year old man was arrested after he was caught having relations with an 82 year old woman's 2008. Toyota Avalon. What? Oh. So he was having relations with the car, not the lady, <laughs> the car. All right. Yes, yeah, car. She, she had been noticing damage to her car <laughs> for several years, but he was finally he caught was in the act. Damaging the car? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Tailpipe. Get aggressive with it. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Is the only thing I could see would be the tailpipe. What else would you do? Yeah. Uh, or you just maybe rub the it on it. Yeah. And who knows what? Yeah. People are attracted to the weirdest things. Yep. That's weird. Yep. Mm. I don't think I've ever looked at anything. It was like, I'd like to take a shot at that. Nah. I did. My grandmother, my great grandmother had a mink coat. I took a shot at once or twice. Oh, right. <laughs> Although I will tell you, I do like whenever they uh, post pictures of like a ham or something, some sort of vegetable that looks like something. And they're like, this ham needs to calm down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, uh, car? No, no. Uh, uh, 2008 Toyota Avalon. Uh, 82 year old woman. What? Uh, yeah. Uh, I've got a uh, <laughs> Uh, tell me this doesn't sound like something I would do. A museum in Germany fired a 51-year-old employee after he hung up one of his own paintings. <laughs> <laughs> it was a part of their exhibit for a full day. Uh, he was hoping that it might help him break through as an artist. Oh, I think that's great. Great yeah. move. Yeah. I, hey, man, look, I can do as good as this. Yeah. I'll just put mine up. Galvin, have you ever eaten at Chewy's? Uh, Mexican place in uh, no surprisingly I have it not. is really good very good and um, they have you'd love it because in their bar area they have pictures of their patrons dogs oh nice. they bring them in and they put them on the wall and they frame in the frames they nail it to the wall and I don't know what the process is but I always promise that the kids the next time we go we're just gonna sneak a picture of Mabel in there somewhere yeah. <laughs> and uh, but uh, I don't know why they started doing it or whatever but it's adorable when you walk to the bathroom there's just dogs everywhere um. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing that. I'm going to sneak a picture yeah. of Mabel on there. I've yeah. seen people do that where uh, one guy had like a picture of him. He caught a fish and then uh, had it printed out in black and white and hung it in Cracker Barrel. That's great. Yeah, I think that's pretty funny. Uh, today is two different national days. Today is National Siblings Day. Okay. Okay. And uh, it is also National Hug Your Dog Day. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's every, every easy. day for every, me. Come on. Yeah. You're hugging your dog. What kind of dog do you have? I have a Yorkie. Yeah. Oh, you got a little dog. Little dog. Is yeah. it a Yorkie or a teacup Yorkie? Not a teacup one. He's oh, he's only, he's 10 pounds. My, uh, my in laws have a teacup Yorkie and it is maybe three pounds. Yeah. It's every time I go over there, I'm like, I'm going to step on the dog and I'm going to feel so bad. Oh. This is like the size of a gerbil. I know. They're and little. then they have a. Uh, Miniature poodle, little miniature, tiny little poodle. Yeah, they're just the smallest dog. Oh. So I, I, I'm i trying to think now, really, if I had any ex-girlfriends who died and came back as Mabel. No. Mabel's obsessed with me. Yeah. yeah. Like, she follows me around, like, you know, most dogs do, but she, like, if Amanda's talking to me, she comes over and wiggles her way in between, she puts her head on my <laughs> on my leg when I'm just sitting there. Like, she's in love with me. Yeah. Hazel loves me. Hazel uh, will follow me and do all this stuff, because every time, whenever I go in there, I you know, pattern do all that stuff. But uh, whenever I came out of the bathroom, she's just smiling. She's just uh, mouth open, 
just uh, as happy as can be. Yeah, she's our Ma- she's our special. Dog. Yeah. It's funny because Mabel has to wait until Hazel acknowledges yeah. me. Hazel will come over and say, and Mabel's like, "All right, I guess he's okay." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, speaking of dogs, PetSmart has a contest where five winners will win a free tattoo. The idea is that uh, covering up an old tattoo that you regret now with a new tattoo of your dog or cat, bird, you know, whatever, <laughs> any of this stuff. Uh, they're calling it the Tattoo Redo. They're actually going to fly you to L.A. for two nights and cover your session with a tattoo artist. You won't be able to get a full, like, back tattoo. It's got to be a smaller one, something uh, $2,500 or less. Oh, that's but, pretty, good. pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. So it's a good artist, and you'll get a cover up of if you, you know, have a swastika or something. I'm interested. Do you want to turn know. into your pet spider? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I'm interested in covering up a tattoo. Uh, Which one? I, this one. The Superman? And the Superman one. It just kind of outgrew it a little. And, yeah. Uh, I would like to, uh, I want to get a big nonchalant elephant head over there. So oh, I, yeah, wouldn't, right. I would qualify for that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you don't have an elephant as a pet. Yeah. Oh, you have to have the pet. Yeah. Well, put I a turtle on so. like Yeah, big, you can do that. Big tortoise shell. Yeah. Big old Ralphie. Yeah, I got to go. I got to go start looking at the game that done. I think it should be easy because the elephant will probably be mostly black and gray. Mm-hmm. I want to get uh, that tattoo. I'm going to get uh, the Vader, my dog, and I had it uh, done and put on a t shirt, and they have like cool background and stuff. I want to get that tattooed somewhere on me. Yeah, some I don't know. You get, make sure it's a good. I know you guys will make sure it's a good artist, but I have some friends that have portraits of their animals. Right, and those seem really hard to do, dude. Yeah. Some of them look so bad, and I never know how to just say it looks bad. I was like, terrible. oh, that's well, great. Well, I saw a tattoo artist on uh, Instagram, and I was like, wow, this guy's good. Where is he? And because I guess I was in the area where I live, he's literally like a mile from my house. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to check him out for sure because I was looking at a bunch of his stuff and yeah, really nice. That's nice. Yeah, it looks like good stuff. So, I'll check it out. Uh, to apply for that, by the way, you can go to petsmarttattooredo.com and send a photo of uh, your old tattoo and your pet that you want the new tattoo and do all that stuff. Uh, we had talked about it the other day. We were saying about uh, being in the pool and people all peeing in the pool and doing all that stuff. And I said that's what chlorine is for. Yeah, I, w- I want to pee in the pool. But I have a fear that this big orange, yellow cloud <laughs> yeah. will be around my yeah. crotch and everybody will see it. So uh-huh. I hold it in, and uh, it was it was quite an experiment to go pee in in Bahamas because mm. I had to had to get that. I have straw strings and Velcro, mm. and, and it's cold. Yeah, it's oh. cold. Yeah. You just pull them all the way down to your <laughs> ankles. <laughs> and, and do that. Well, yeah, I was bringing that up because I read this today. This is pretty interesting. It, you, you go, okay, well, that's what the chlorine's for is kill all the pee and all that stuff. Chlorine was first added to pools back in the 1940s to do what? Oh, I would assume it to was kill to kill fish. germs. To right? kill algae? No, no. Chlorine in the pool to, to cover kill. Up the smell. In the 1940s. I would, I would say kill algae is the right. best thing because they probably didn't have the filtration system back then. Uh, it was first added to pools in 1940. Chlorine was because it could kill polio. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. You don't want to be swimming with somebody who has polio, yeah. then you get polio. Yeah. Oh. I don't know how that is. That's how it <laughs> works. In, whatever. The chlorine kills it. Yeah. So, yeah. Isn't that interesting? Swim. So, don't worry about pee. It can kill polio. It's like, so do you want to swim in the chemical that can kill the disease? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. Yeah. Well, right. yeah. Open my mm, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when my parents were married, my father had a best friend from like his childhood who was the redneck version of my father. <laughs> He lived upstate New York in the country, and we would go up there, and my mother would tell me the whole time up there, now listen to me, if they ask you to go in the pool, I'm going to tell them that you're sick and you can't go, and you got to stick with that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Then you get there, and a bunch of kids are out there, and they're like, let's go in the pool. And I'm like, yeah, I want to go in the pool. And my mother's like, no, you're sick. And now looking back as an adult, I look right, their pool, they had a giant above-ground pool with no filtration system. So it was just a big green pool yeah, yeah. and yeah. eventually my mother had to let me go in because i was complaining so much so there i am in the 1970s swimming in a green pool with a bunch of redneck kids uh, from uh, upstate uh, uh. well that was like whenever uh covid first came around and there was the uh, memes of if you drank out of the hose you're, yeah, you're you don't fine. have to worry yeah, about right. covid or anything like that because uh, uh. you're totally fine 
You're drinking lead water. Who yeah. knows what? No. I, I mean, think about that. The other, yesterday, for some reason, I was I was outside looking at the hose, and I thought, remember, we used to drink out of the yeah. hose. Yeah, it was the time. delicious back then. It wasn't. It tasted oh, like rust, but no, it was still. No. We didn't want to go in the house. We're in the middle well, of playing basketball. Yeah, and you had to let it run because all the hose hot water hot. that was still in the oh, hose yeah. was all hot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, sitting there for a while. Well, where I grew up in Illinois, we had a well. We had our own well that the water came out and it smelled like sulfur and you could light it on fire. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's, that's not, not good. good. Yeah. That's oh, not good. That's probably, you got Michigan water. Yeah. probably pretty bad. Probably, probably pretty bad for you. Nah. Or that's why we're all over six feet tall. <laughs> uh, the makers of Scrabble say that younger folks find the game to be too intense. Scrabble's too intense. How? I don't know. So they just released a new version, which is supposed to be more collaborative and accessible. Uh, it's called Scrabble Together, and apparently it's a lot different. In this version, players team up to complete mutual goals, like uh, play a word containing two of the same consonants, uh, play a word containing at least two different vowels, uh, complete a vertical word, uh, it's e- if that isn't easy enough, you can also flip helper cards, oh, which introduce things yeah. like make an S tile uh, tiles a uh, make S tiles a blank. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, an executive for the company says that the new game brings people together, including people who think word games aren't for me. Whatever, Whoa. nerds. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is why I'm voting for Trump. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? No. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah you, God forbid you challenge people. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to be challenged. You want everything as easy as Come possible. On. That's I mean, I think, it could, I think it could bring a family together, like a little bit closer if you're playing in teams. Uh, and also, that's a hard game. It is Scrabble, like yeah. when you want to get big points, you want to use other words. But also, it's a competition. You're supposed to be competing, and it's supposed but to be teams still competing against other stuff. teams. Yeah, nah, I don't know. This is just being ba- this being is a the baby. participation trophy. I say it all the Way time. Thinking there is a comedian back in like I don't know the 80s or 90s, whenever uh, remember Pictionary. Yeah, Pictionary is a big game. He goes, and I I don't know the guy's name. I can't remember who it was. Otherwise, I'd give him credit for it. But he goes, here's my imitation of the last five seconds of any game of Pictionary. <laughs> it's a palm tree, you bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love uh, Vince Vaughn. Shoe, uh, shoe, baby shoe, yeah. sock and a shoe. <laughs> so baby good. shoe is the best. Uh, <laughs> baby shoe. It's a baby shoe and a sock. Uh, Mike Kelta. Yes. You just got caught, bro. Oh, oh no. boy. Uh-oh. Producer and director J.J. Abrams. Oh, I know about this. Uh, has become Hollywood's go-to for nostalgia trips, and now he's planning on another one. This time, he's doing his own take on Back to the Future. Oh. So you said, is that, uh, who is the director? Zemeckis? Zemeckis is the guy who is the director. And Bob Gale. They own and the they rights. own the rights. Yeah. Right. And they're not giving them up. So he's going to do his own take on Back to the Future. Uh, it says from the sources, Abrams is working on an as of yet untitled movie, which while it won't exactly be a remake of Back to the Future, it will be something uh, kind of paying homage to it. If you're looking for a comparison, think about whenever uh, he did, Abrams did the uh, Super 8, directed that movie. Super yeah, 8 is uh, kind of like Steven it? Spielberg's E.T. This will be like that, Back to the Future, but yeah. not Back to the Future. Right. It will be something that's thought, kind of an homage I, I thought to Super it. 8 was garbage. Really? Yeah. yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like the kids. I didn't like the... I didn't get what was trying to happen. I didn't like it. I remember Justin Stang loved it. I, was like, mm. I don't think I, I remember like, because we saw it in the theater, I believe, and uh, it I was don't... all right. I, yeah. I don't really yeah. remember it. Uh, this movie will uh, be about a young man traveling through time to play the story's Marty McFly character. Abrams is looking to cast Timothy Chalamet. Oh, hell yeah. Which is a smart move. I mean, yeah. that kid's money right now. Yeah. So, uh, and he could pull off like goofy and cool yeah. at the same yeah. time, like Michael J. Fox did. Uh, I still think my idea is better, but cool. Whatever you guys got. Will he wear a puppy vest? I hope so. I mean, you kind of got it. Right. What will the car be? Will it be a classic, <laughs> you know? Like the DeLorean, will they have something? Like a Lincoln? (laughs) They got to make it something. Will it be a car? Yeah. No. Oh, it'll probably be an electric car. There's not a whole lot of good, like, time travel movies, I don't feel. So Uh, I'm telling you, one of the best ones I ever saw was the H. Well, it was based on the H.G. Wells story, but it was H.G. Wells um, made the time machine, and one of his his peers 
uh, what it turns out was Jack the Ripper, and he uses the time machine to escape, and H.G. Wells goes after him, and they come to modern That's times. That's cool. It was very cool, because he was killing people in modern times, and they had to try and get him. It was, it was a different, it was like using the time machine for something, you know? Um, but I don't, uh, I'm trying to think of what the t- what time travel movies besides Back to the Future were even any good. Hot Tub Time Machine. Hot that tub is time. so good. Uh, uh, there is one, let me see if this is the right one. Uh, there is a movie where the kid learns on his birthday, I don't know whether it's his 18th birthday or his 21st birthday, that they can time travel. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. I saw that movie. What is the name of that? Because his father tells him, and then he can go back. But they can only go back a certain, certain amount yeah. of time. Yeah. That uh, that Ryan Reynolds movie that came out a year or so ago, Adam Project. That was great. Th- where he goes back in time and to his with his kid, and mm-hmm. he goes back to his back in time to his younger self. I and that, that, that was actually pretty good. It was good. What it about Time Traveler's Wife? That is good. I love that movie. Yeah, about time, Galvin. That, can I tell you about time? About time, time is yeah. that what it's called? Bert called me one time, crying. I go, what's what's wrong? What's wrong? I go, what's wrong? Did you ever see the time traveler's wife? I said, yes. He's like, yeah, I was watching it then. It made him cry. Yeah. Like baby. It's good. It's good. So is uh, the butterfly effect. I liked that was yeah, the, the oh, for a time yeah. travel movie. Yeah, that's a good one. Was that yeah. time travel though? Yeah. Kind of, but not really. Yeah. Well, it was at how the it end, affected time. Yeah, but then at the end, because I the whole thing, because there's two separate endings, and the the one ending that I like, I don't think is one that they went with. It's on the director's cut where he goes back to being in the. He just never gets born because oh. yeah, because that girl keeps dying. Oof. Yeah. Uh, this one, yeah, you're right. Uh, right about time is what it is. It says when Tim Lake uh, is 21, his father tells him a secret. The men in their family can travel through time. Although he can't change history, Tim resolves to improve his life by getting a girlfriend. He meets uh, Rachel McAdams. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Falls in love with her. Finally wins her heart because he can go back. Wasn't she in the time traveler's wife, too? Yes. Oh, she's (laughs) a real time traveler. She's... Rachel, we have a great idea for you. <laughs> Another, <laughs> no, it's Timothy Chalamet as a reboot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, by the way, a lot of hot chicks in there. Vanessa Kirby's in there. Yeah. Margot Robbie's in there. Oh. Rachel McAdams. Well, is yeah. In there. If you get yeah. a time travel machine, that's yeah. what you would man. Chalamet is the guy right now. Yeah. Seems yeah. like they're putting him in everything. I love that Wonka movie, and nobody in this house likes it from except me. Really? Yeah. Yesterday I was like, "Ooh, sick day! You guys want to watch Wonka?" And they're like, "Stop with the Wonka." <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. It doesn't make me have anxiety or annoyed by anything i could just sit there and mindlessly put it on yeah Yeah. and i wish i had candy while i was watching Uh, looper was a good time travel movie looper was good yeah looper is the one with uh bruce Bruce willis Willis. yeah looper is good and there's that other one with hayden christensen where he could jump oh that's jumper Jumper, Jumper, yeah yeah. (laughs) it wasn't time travel but that was pretty good x-men Future's Past, Days of right? Future's Past. That, yeah, that, that movie good. gets overlooked. That's one of the best movies I yeah. agree. ever. Yeah. Like one of my favorite movies. Yeah. It's interesting for sure the way that they do the different mm-hmm. stuff. They really did a great job with the younger versions of, yeah. of the X-Men and how that affects everything in the future. Their multiverse is so messed up though. Like nothing nothing is right. The uh you know when Kevin Bacon has those two guys that are like uh they're two bad guys yes. that, that work with them? Uh one of those guys and Mystique is supposed to be the father. I mean, the parents of Nightcrawler, right? Nightcrawler, yeah. but none of that even comes into yeah. play. Like they just ignore it. <laughs> yeah. By the way, what are you going for X Men for uh, powers? Which X Men would you want to do? I mean, I kind of like Wolverine because you never die. You know, yeah. I mean, you I, get I, lonely. I don't get lonely. You just meet new people. Uh. I, I, don't, I don't ever understand that when people say that. I wouldn't. You say that a lot. I wouldn't want to live forever because I get you just get lonely. Really get lonely. No, I would. I, my wife, I miss you. Yeah, I gotta go find a new wife. I wouldn't want to live forever forever because I feel like it takes the humanity out of living in general. Oh, go wrap Oof. up in your little <laughs> sleeping bag <laughs> hammock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, why wouldn't you want to live forever? Because things would get boring. Why? Look, can I just tell you? I lived a pretty good life right now. And then at this age, now I want to be a baseball player. And then at the next age, I want to be a chess player. And then I want to do. I want to go live in France for the next. I would do everything. Yeah, yeah. But you would run out of stuff. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. You would over. never run out of stuff. You would absolutely. There's always new stuff. Okay, but I mean, there is. There's always new stuff to do. Yeah, I, I, I just don't. I wouldn't want to live forever. Well, yeah, you but you say that it would get boring, but you don't know that. No, I. Yeah, I, I feel like the what is important to me and what makes life so fun is Please the fact tell that we'll us die. What's important to you? 
What do you mean? Oh, I think you said, you said what, what's important to me and what makes life What's important? most yeah. important to you, friends and family? You can have so many friends and more family. <laughs> you true. can. It's, uh, it's totally true, though. Yeah. Uh, you got to watch everybody die. Yeah. That's going to be fun. Uh, yeah, it's uh, sad, but all of a sudden you're like, well, my wife, I loved you. I miss you. Hey, what's up, 19-year-old? You just keep recycling. Them. <laughs> oh, hello, old man. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I'm Wolverine. Uh, that's yeah, true. You know, he, I'm, not getting, I'm not getting older. He gets old. He gets old. Uh, it takes him, takes him a decade <laughs> to just get a one gray hair. Uh, Wolverine would be good. I think Mystique. I think that the, the shapeshifter, yes. the change. Yeah. I yes. think that's so cool. And you could do so much with that. Yeah. Shapeshifting would be good because then you can. You can pleasure yourself while looking in the mirror at somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> but also, <laughs> all about think, sex with me. think about this. Think about this. Uh, if you're single and you're a shapeshifter guy, whatever, and you talk to some girl at the bar and you're like, what's your type? And she's like, oh, I love Ryan Gosling or whoever this, that. And you go, oh, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then you go to the bathroom and you come out and you. Look, like nine out of ten, Ryan right, Gosling. Right. You're not Ryan Gosling, but you're nine out of ten. You both drink the same drink. That's yeah, weird. You're yeah. like a oh. vodka gimlet. Yeah, you do some little <laughs> cute meat thing that yeah. you know whatever. Yeah, that'd be you'd be all uh, over it. I think I would like Gambit's power where he can make stuff explode. I've always loved him. All right. No, I'm no, trying to think who, who which one is he's Gambit. Not, he's, so he's not in any of the movies. Yeah, he is. Oh no, he's is he? yeah, he's uh, in the one. Doesn't he do magic? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got played by Friday Night Lights guy. Yeah, he's oh, yeah. in one yeah, of them. He's, he's in the uh, Wolverine where uh, him and his brother oh, are yeah. working together for a little while. Yeah. And now, whatever that Tatum is the new Gambit, I think. I think so. That's what yeah. I was reading. Yeah. Mm. But like uh, Shapeshifter or, you know, Mystique, whatever, you go in and rob some place and then just go around the corner and you're somebody else. And there yeah. you go. They went that way. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, you can use it for the most, for the most things, yeah. then, for sure. But uh, eventually that shapeshifter is going to die and Wolverine will move on to a new girl. Yeah. Oh, I said Wolverine's good. Also, <laughs> shapeshifter. Now I'm a lady. I'm in the <laughs> ladies' room. I'll tell you one of the you great things. You don't even have to do that now, though. <laughs> one of the great things the X-Men movies did is uh, when they had the Wolverine movie, the one him and, and Sabretooth, uh -huh. where they were brothers. Yeah. It showed them fighting in every war. Oh, yeah. The yeah, cool. oh, yeah. That was yeah. great. I think that's the one that winds up with Gambit, right? Yeah. Because that's I where think, they work together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the the Wolverine Origins, I yeah. think it's I called. Mean, yeah. yeah that Which was is the one movie. where he's a samurai. That one was trash. That's Logan. That's yeah. awful. Yeah. No, not Logan. Logan was the one where he's the old man. Yeah. Right. Logan no, was Logan. good. Yeah. The one after that where they're all dying. Yeah. I don't, I don't Deadpool know. Deadpool and Wolverine's coming out I'm soon. So excited. That's going to be really good. That'll be good. Yeah. Because yeah. that'll be the two of them being funny. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah, that. I watched the trailer for that the other day. Yeah. It's it's still good. It yeah. still works. <laughs> yep. Like, you know, all the all the stuff you know that's gonna happen. You're like, yeah, it still works. Yeah. I love whenever I I uh Deadpool's laying on the ground. He just got hit by something, whatever. And then all of a sudden, you see the shadow of Wolverine standing over him. And he goes, a little help. And he goes, and, his thing, and he goes, I got it, I got it. <laughs> That's so good. Uh, Twisted Sister may soon have no choice but to reunite. How? There's one rock star in that band and five fat old guys. Yeah. <laughs> a lot like well, people. Down there. <laughs> I have a feeling D. Snyder's just putting this out there, so offers will start coming uh, in. Maybe. He says, "quote As a result of all bands retiring and dying, the offers get bigger and bigger for the holdouts to come dying. back." <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of people are yeah, dying. Yeah. That age, they're dying. Would you give a flying f if anybody but D. Snyder was in? No. Twisted no. Sister. I mean, their drummer's dead. You got J.J. French, and then I don't know the J. other J. guys. J.J. French is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. J.J. French is like, uh, if, you're, if your daughter's soccer friend's father was like, yeah, I used to play in the band. <laughs> yeah. He's just now you're working at Block. Yeah, he's just a weird old dude. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. Uh, and then uh, WrestleMania 40 was Peacock's most stream entertainment event. Ooh. Calvin, I got to tell you. I am not into wrestling anymore. Yeah. But I watched that whole thing storyline with The Rock and Cody. And that, I tell you, that brought everybody back. And the fact they brought Undertaker back in there for yeah. that thing the right way, uh, they really did a great job with it. I mean, The Rock is money always, but it was, it was really The Rock putting Cody Rhodes over and making him the new superstar. Mm -hmm. I, I thought they really did a great job. It really got me interested again. And they made no secret that Vince is, has nothing to do with this company yeah. now, creative wise whatsoever. Yep. It's all you know, Triple H. It's all Triple H and he's doing he's doing great. the right thing. Yeah. yeah. It, it came out really, really well. 
Um, I watched the Hall of Fame ceremony. Did you see any of that, like highlights or anything? I the only thing I saw was whenever Rock was in the ring and he turns around and Undertaker's yeah, behind him, cool. and then yeah. he gives him the choke slam the, thing. The night before the WrestleMania starts is the Hall of Fame, and uh, the U.S. Express, which is Barry Windham and Mike Rotunda, got in, and um, they were inducted by Micah and Taylor. And it was really, I got to tell you, it was really emotional because poor Micah did a great job and she was, you could tell the tears were just busting up whenever they were talking about Wyndham. Um, and then, you know, they bring Mike Rotunda in there and he's got to talk about his dead son while he's up Oof. there. I mean, it was just, it was heartbreaking to watch. I heard the documentary on him is really good. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet either. That, that looks great. Uh, he was just, he brought a lot to wrestling in a short amount of time. And was a super nice person. I remember the first time I met uh, Bray Wyatt was when he was in NXT, and we were doing that stuff at the fairgrounds. Yeah, and he came up to me and he was like, "You cowhead!" And I said, "Yeah." And, he, and I was I was wondering why he knew. I didn't forgot NXT was here, you know. And he was such a nice kid. And then over the years, he's always been super nice to me. And uh, tragically, he passed away. And when they had to do that yesterday, I mean, the minute they had those kids had to walk out there, I just was, felt terrible for them. But it it, it went off very good. It was, it's very respectful. They they did a great job, I think, with all the Hall of Fame stuff. I wonder <clears> how <throat> many times they uh, asked Micah to be in wrestling. I mean, she walked out there, dude, and she looked like she was ready to get in the main event. Like yeah. she had a nice dress on where she looked elegant, but had broad shoulders like muscular athletic shoulders right. and i was like she yeah I, I don't know what the end game is there like uh, how she would not because i remember the first time i met her and then somebody was like yeah the rotunda family and i go okay that makes sense yeah. you know yeah. and yeah. she's just she has that character you know yeah she's been around the business her whole life between right. her from her grandfather on down so you know it was uh it was nice to see it was a nice tribute they would i mean when i was a kid Wyndham and Rotunda were like the the greatest because it was America versus Russia at the time, mm -hmm. and you're fighting Volkov and and uh, the Iron Sheik, you know, who we were like, oh, they're Russian and they're bad, and they want to hate Americans, you know. When you're a kid, that's that's amazing stuff. So it was good to see them get the nod and give them uh, give uh, Bray Wyatt some love. So that was Peacock's most streamed uh, entertainment event, and then for the first time in March Madness history. More people watch the women's final than the men's. Really? Yes. Yeah, about four million more. That's where she's getting all her money from. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's her face? Caitlin Clark. Caitlin yeah. Clark. Because uh, you know, once you once you steal the show there, it doesn't matter if you're because you know, like Diana Taurasi was saying, I said once she gets in and plays with the adults, well, it doesn't matter. She's bringing viewers to it, and that's what they need more than anything. Yeah. The WNBA is not making any money because they have no viewers. Now you get one star that kind of gets you to look at two stars, and that's how it starts. I wonder if next year it'll be like that now that she's gone right. out of college. Yeah. Yeah, but no. The tournament because will still it, be as it's exciting. The same, it's the same way. You need to have standout yeah. people. A star. It's, even and though it's you, a team sport, you need an individual standout to attract your attention to it. And you want to see somebody break records. Yeah. You know I, mean, I mean, that's it, a big part of it for sure. Mark McGuire uh, is, you know, credited with, with bringing baseball back. Him and Sammy Sosa chasing yeah, the, yeah. the record yeah. because you want the standout guy. You want something to, to put. Your, you know all your emotions behind. I don't even I don't even really watch a lot of basketball, but she is impressive to watch. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was watching the Lightning game last night, and they said I I want to say it's assist. I'm not sure, but uh, because Kucherov has like 186 points total, but he has a uh, hundred or coming up on a hundred assists. I think it is. Uh, they said only three other people have had that in a season: Bobby Orr, uh, a Jaeger. Stamkos, yeah, and now it could be Yager. Kutra. Yeah, Yager. before we get into ten emails, um, the 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 other thing to, to bring out the point was um, uh, remember when we had the guys on from Hard Knocks and they did Hard Knocks Buccaneers, and I said, look, I'm super glad you're doing it, but you pick the Buccaneers. What does that mean to somebody who's on the West Coast? Are they as interested as is somebody in Detroit give a crap about what's happening with the Buccaneers? And the guy said. Yeah, I remember he said this. He goes, "Look, I'm a fantasy football guy, and I know Mike Evans is the number one receiver in the league, and that's it. and that's it. As long as you have the yeah. one power player, that'll always get the attention for the whole team." I remember when uh, when the Lightning had a hockey team, and all my guys in New York were busting my balls because they all were old time hockey fans. They all loved the Rangers, and uh, they would tease me. They would call me up. But they all knew Lecavier's name. They would yeah. all say, "What do you got, Lecavier down there?" They all knew Lecavier. So. Yeah. It only takes the one guy to get all the all the attention. Who the do team. you think will be on hard knocks this year? 
I think they said it already, didn't they? Uh, no, nah, not that I know of. I know they no. did D- Detroit last year, I believe. Yeah. I, and then they do the in-season stuff, too, right. because yeah. they did, like, the Dolphins in-season, whatever. Marino! Uh, I know that, uh, you know, in the stuff that I read, oh, that says that they're pushing for the Steelers with Russell Wilson and Justin Fields being there. Oh, that'd be, be good. I'd like, to see the, that. I'd like to see the Texans I don't think C.J. This, Stroud and Stephon Diggs going there. Most teams don't really want it. You know, like yeah. the Cowboys had it a bunch of times. They're like, yeah, we'll take it. We love it. But uh, I know the Steelers have been, you know, we're not going to do it. But we'll see I, this year. Every whether. team says they're not going to do right. it. They don't have a choice. Have a yeah, choice. well, that's yeah. the thing. Right. The this, this Steelers did it one season, though, didn't no, they? They've no, they've never done it. No. I thought there was a Steelers season no. of that. No. Um, last night, the Boston Celtics became the first team in NBA history to go an entire game without even attempting one free throw. Oh, wow. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Entire game without a free throw. Wow. Right? That's weird. How does that That's happen? Weird. No fouls. Yeah. Huh. Well, no shooting fouls. That's yeah. crazy. Isn't that wild? Uh, and then, I don't know whether you guys know this or not. You know how everybody's hating on Texas Hold'em, the uh, Beyonce song? Yeah. I'm not. I like it. Did you know that's a remake? No. <gasps> Stolen Valor. Of whom? I have it. Originally, Hank Williams. <gasps> Take a listen to this. Oh. This is Hank Williams, Texas Hold'em. Well, this ain't Texas. I ain't no Hold'em. That is AI. I was, Damn, well, I was waiting to see what the real lyrics were. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, he's not. Uh, uh, Hank didn't sing about Lexus. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is an AI version of uh, Beyonce's Texas Hold'em in the style of Hank it's Williams. Very interesting. And it yeah, sounds it's, good. It's getting good, the AI yeah. music and stuff. It, unbelievably, even put the little record yeah. Yeah. in yeah. there and stuff. Yeah. Hey, if they say to me, we're going to have AI do your show, but we're going to pay you half of Ooh. your salary for your likeness in 100%. I mean, oh, lot. yeah. In 100%. Yeah. Good night, everybody. Yeah. I'm going back to have, you. have you guys seen the video where it's the top and bottom of the woman who's talking and you can't, one's AI? And one's her. Oh so, yeah, yeah. So they developed an AI program that can learn instantly your personality yeah. based on your social media profile and one sentence. So the video is is it's the same girl, and then the top girl talks, and the bottom girl talks, and then at the end she's like, "All right, now tell which one of us is AI," and you cannot tell. But my problem is, I, I I understand that, but if you're telling my social media, what are you going to talk about? Like with me, it'll walk away with talking about mob movies, my kids. And oh no. oh no. Yeah. no! 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 But yeah. Also, any any comment you've made on anybody other stuff is then formulates what your opinion yeah. would be. By the way, what else do you think you're talking about? <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, those. I outdoor- watched Goodfellas again last night. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm gonna go visit Ralphie. Yeah. Oh, do you know I sent an email to the uh, to the streaming service? Oh yeah. Because it's been like a month now. And they, the 24-hour Godfather channel is down. Oh, I, finally oh, had to do, I felt like I had to do something. And did, they, <laughs> and did they answer you 30 seconds later? Yep. They yeah. said it's forwarded to our technical yeah. department. The best. They'll take yeah. care of it. That Again, poor kid in Dubai. Uh, do what? I said that poor kid in Dubai right now. <laughs> yeah. that's working on your, your thing. He's like, ah! Yeah. They're nailing his feet to the ground until <laughs> yeah. he fixes it. I finally took a, took a minute to organize all my favorites on that channel. Oh, yeah. So now when I lay in bed, I got everything right there. Mm-hmm. I'll watch a little bit of Bonanza. Yeah. Sure. A little bit of happy days, a yeah. little bit of uh, a mash, and then I feel nice and ready to put Seinfeld on and go to bed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like a lot of uh, 24-7 Cheers. I like yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. I watch that Great. Yeah. There was Cheers on, by the way, uh, Cruise, and I know you're not supposed to be in your room a lot, whatever, but the Cruise TV this year was terrible, yeah, right? It was, it was the worst. I finally... Well, yeah. I did watch one thing. What? There was a remake of Poltergeist. Did you know what? that with Sam Sam Rockwell? Oh yeah, that was not too long ago. I don't even remember that. I watched the first couple of minutes. I go, what is this? And then they were like, yeah, the houses were built on a cemetery. I go, is this Poltergeist? The only reason I know that is because at the Halloween Horror Nights at Universal last year, year before last, they had a house based on the new Poltergeist oh, that's cool. movie. Yeah, well, they no, really gambled no. on that. Huh? It stuck. It was <laughs> garbage. Uh, <laughs> it the house. Was- so is it Amityville Horror or Poltergeist? Poltergeist. Poltergeist. Oh, okay. Because yeah, yeah. the house was Amityville Horror. Remember right. that very right, yeah. unique house? Yeah, yeah, with that one window right yeah. up yeah. the top in the front. Yeah. Because yeah, didn't uh, Ryan Reynolds did yeah. a remake? Yeah, Man, he was looking good in that. <laughs> what? With the beard? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I was like, uh, there was like nothing on. Yeah. And then uh, I caught Big at one point. Yeah, and then, that too? Uh, I watched uh, Doubtfire yeah. Yeah. was on, whatever. But it was so funny because my wife, Big, was on. And I go, oh, Big. 
And she goes, I saw this way back. She goes, but I don't remember. So I explained, literally explained the entire plot to her. And then it came to the point in the movie where he explains the entire plot. <laughs> I go, we could have just waited five minutes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. It, well, I mean, look, you don't want to spend time in your room. When it's time to go to bed or time to yeah, relax with something. Yeah. something to watch. And it was uh, first two channels were cruise channels. Then there were the kids TV shows, which is smart because when you're traveling with kids, you want to yeah. knock them out with something. And then, yeah, just a bunch of garbage. And I ended up watching the news the whole time. And the news I was watching was MSNBC. And it's just so funny mm. to see the uh, opposite version of Fox News where <laughs> it's tr Trump's to blame for everything yep. in the world. The people who support him are idiots. But yeah. then you put a Fox News on it, like Trump's a savior. Yeah. Uh, so funny. Uh, finally, the news people on social media are talking about the grossest things that their partner does. Uh, that they've just couldn't be accept because you know it's your partner and you're Gross like. Right. Just, I wonder what my wife would say that that is. Yeah. Have yeah. sex with her. Oh. Oh. Hey. That's, a, that's a burn on you. <laughs> so, oh, that's so in case you didn't know. Unnecessary. Unnecessarily mean. Oh my God. Hello. Hi. Hi, you're live on the air. Okay. We're doing a list of the grossest things that your partner does. What is the grossest thing that I do? <laughs> Oh, man. There's so many, right? Yeah. Galvin said it was when I have sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of picking my toenails. Uh, uh, that, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. You shave and you leave the sink full of hair. That's gross. I have my own sinks. Go and stay in your own sink. Stay on your side. It doesn't matter. Stay on your it's side. Disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> Clean it. Woman. And you... You do you chew loud? I chew oh. loud. Yeah. Really? Mm. Yeah. You've Remember never you said, said that to me. Because I don't want to hurt your feelings, but you, I did say it to you, and you said it was because you couldn't breathe out of your nose. <laughs> yeah, just well, I was sick. Say, is there a lot of breathing and <laughs> no, noises and stuff? I remember you did say something to me, and I was sick at the time. I couldn't breathe out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> but you still can't breathe out of your nose. <laughs> oh. We'll see tonight if you can't breathe out of your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you do anything gross. I've never heard you fart. You don't. Some you spend a half hour in the bathroom and you come out and it smells like roses. I don't know what your magic is. I do. I do do gross stuff. Like what? Although you did walk in the room yesterday, you walked into the bedroom and burp, you burped like an old sailor, <laughs> and you were like, "Oh my god, excuse me." Yeah, That's and I didn't gross. think that. I didn't think that was gross. It's kind of hot. What um, else? I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I don't, I don't think I do a lot of gross things, but I could be wrong. No, you don't. I mean, you do normal gross things that everybody does. You don't have like any I'm not crazy a big, thing. I'm not a big public farter. No. No. Although mm -hmm. I was walking the dogs yesterday and I farted outside so loud that I thought, the, I thought you heard it on the inside. <laughs> The windows, the windows rumble. Don't tell me about it. Well, I can say it now. I got away with it. Uh, all right, cool. I just wanted to see if there's anything. Now I'm going to go hang up and talk about all the gross things I know that you do. Oh, all right. All right, bye. Uh, so some of the different stuff that people posted, uh, this woman said uh, that her husband or boyfriend picks his teeth with a point of a knife. Uh, oh, it's that's gross. Well, it's really gross, but they say the really gross thing is the metal against the teeth. Yeah, that's yeah. scratching. Yeah. Uh, uh. You know what she hates? That's not gross, but what she hates the most that Pete does all the time hmm. is scratch the plate with the fork of oh, the knife. Oh, oh yeah, I, I hate that, too. I hate that. I know. Yeah, that's like nails on a chocolate uh, Pete, thing. for some reason, it's like he's trying to, like, he's a samurai soldier trying to beat his plate up. <laughs> he's trying to eat the plate? <laughs> yeah. uh, it leaves used Q-tips everywhere. Oh, that's gross. Oh, no. Yeah, throw uh, them away. Or so use floss. When I use them, I put them on the sink right next to the thing so that when I leave, I take them and throw them out, like when I'm done brushing my teeth or whatever, and I forget them sometimes. Uh, I come back the next day, and they're all mm. crusted down to the oh, counter. Yeah. Ah! Right. Uh, this person says uh, she bites huge cartoonish chunks out of cheese that we have in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a block? I can eat the block? Yeah, that's pretty good. You know what I do that's gross to other people is I drink milk from the container, yeah. but I'm the only one in this house that drinks milk. Yeah, that's Nobody loud. else touches that's the milk. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do it sometimes like when my... Uh, like if my dad's over or somebody and I drink the milk, I go, this is, this is my milk. Just let yeah. everybody know that's why I'm drinking from the container. I don't want them to think whatever they're drinking. Yeah, what? I also lick the whole. <laughs> you know. 
Uh, this one says he forcefully gags himself when brushing his teeth to remove phlegm. It's shockingly loud every single brushing. Oh, yeah. That's gross to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you got to get all the way back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do that every once in a while. Yeah, oh, not, not on purpose. No, yeah. not on purpose. I yeah. don't do it on purpose, but I would be terrible at doing. Yeah, I said <laughs> I go. I'd be the worst gay boyfriend ever. Yeah, I can't get unless, past unless you like hearing that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah! I'm yeah. barely bad the teeth before I start. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is so good. Uh, this one says uh, she nearly dies from choking on string cheese every time she eats a mozzarella stick. <laughs> she never learns. <laughs> <laughs> Who can't eat a mozzarella stick? Oh, man. Who's pulling the string cheese apart? Are you just eating it? Uh, I, pull it apart. Apart. I, uh, I did it one time. I, like, I used to just bite them straight down, and my sister yelled at me one time. Uh, like, yeah. Who gets string cheese and just eats it like that? Yeah. And that's oh. what I was going to say. I don't really get string cheese. I never Yeah, we have it a lot here. Uh, I like uh, I like the cheddar, the oh, strip yeah. cheddar. I got to tell you, Cracker Barrel, white cheddar. Yeah. I agree. What else? That's Sharp. Else. Uh, this one says she mixes M and M's and Skittles in a bowl and eats them That's together. Disgusting. Yeah. That, that is horrible. Like disgusting. That sounds oh. gross. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> this one just sounds like it's an insult. She sucks her tea bags dry. <laughs> oh, ew! <laughs> you go suck your tea bag dry. That yeah. is disgusting. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty gross. <laughs> Why would you do that? You, you got, got a whole glass of tea. But there. it's more of most. Uh, it's like a concentrated blast yeah, of but flavor. What you, yeah. what you, what you do though, water. you steep it, yeah. then you wrap it around a spoon, yeah. and then you Squeeze push it. That's yeah. what that little tab's for. Yeah, right. Little paper. Is that really it. what it's yeah. for? Yeah. I don't know whether that's, I'm what, in. that's what I use yeah. it for. My mother used to sell Tupperware. And Tupperware made a specific thing. You take your tea bag, you put it in, and you squeeze yeah, it. Right? A little Tupperware. Oh, yeah, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't suck the tea bag. <laughs> Although I would like to date her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this one sounds like it's not that big of a deal, but then you have the second half of it. His dog sleeps in bed with him. No big deal. Yeah, sounds yeah. great. And the dog pees all the time. Oh, oh man, that is bed. Uh, in yeah. the bed. Yeah, mm, that's mm, in the mattress. Mm, that's, no way. Oh, yeah. You're is, soaking in like you get in that. <laughs> Get I, into that bed. The well, night that I came home from the cruise, I missed my my wife, so I slept in the bed downstairs that night. You know, because I usually sleep upstairs. I don't know what she's got going on in that bed, but at one point in the night, I had to stick my hands down my pants and see if I wet the bed. It oh. was step blank. It was so goddamn hot. My uh. whole midsection was wet <laughs> oh. from sweat. I was like, I can't stay here yeah, anymore. That's I, moved back, I moved back out last night. It was yes. so much happier. <laughs> Hardcore. Uh, he sometimes eats while using the bathroom. Okay, oh, listen. Right. There gross. is nothing that wrong is with that. No, no that's that. nah. disgusting. Nah. There's particles yeah. and well, you're not things going are number happening. two. Yeah, well, you don't know. Well, no, I would never do that. Who's eating while they're making a number one? Nobody I know. It's crazy. I'm and saying, what like, are what? you eating? Lobster, a chicken <laughs> <laughs> drumstick. Just oh, lo- it was lobster. <laughs> <laughs> For real? While yeah, you were yeah. peeing? I mean, you know, I wasn't going at the same time, but I went and then it was right there. Was yeah, but you were in, a, in your defense, you were in a hotel. You were using yeah. the countertop. Right, right, right. No, he's talking about guys who go take a sandwich yeah, while they're taking a dump. <laughs> All right. That's <laughs> disgusting. Uh, <laughs> Want to see the process. Yeah. <laughs> see how yeah. it works out. Uh, and then the final one, this is a no-no. Ladies, just so you know, oh, I'm just one of the boys and this and that. No, don't do this. She poops without closing the nope. toilet door. No. Yeah. no. Boys don't yeah. do that. No, yeah. no do one should yeah. do that. Yeah, 100%. Not That's That takes all the mystique out of your relationship. Yeah. 100%. My wife has made it so I'm, it appears that she never poops. Yeah. <laughs> Last That's night, love. she said, I have to go to the bathroom and got up and walked all the way down the hall. And uh, then I had to go in the bathroom to get something. And I thought, she's going to think I'm just messing with her. She didn't even go to that, but she went to a bathroom nobody uses because she had to probably do some business. <laughs> and I thought that's why she's a good wife. Yeah. I don't even know that she operates the same way the rest of the humans do. She should get in the car and drive down the street. She may, yeah. she may have. I don't know. She may go outside with Ralphie. <laughs> we have that, that service that comes, cleans up the poop. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that guy that guy's probably like, something looks suspicious here. <laughs> Ralphie's really eating a lot of uh, jelly beans. It's <laughs> string cheese. Weird. And What's Skittles. Uh, that is it for news. Skittles, they say, are the worst things you can eat. They're completely manufactured. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, so many chemicals. Red dye, yeah. yellow yeah. number seven. Yeah, and this, Yeah, everything. Yeah, I don't... Uh, Think I like candy, but I'm not a Skittles fan. I'm yeah. a pure sugar thing. You get me cotton candy or oh. or, or something that yeah. uh, I ate my last peep yesterday from that I got for Easter. I'm, I love yeah. peeps. I don't. I can't put Reese's peanut butter cups down. I can't. Oh. Once I start, oh, I'm so like, good. oh, dude, I can't. I'll eat a whole bag. It's terrible. Yeah, 
Oh, they are that. pretty good. All right, we got to take a break, but when we come back from break, it is Wednesday, and Galvin has a brand new open letter. We will do that next on 102.5 The Bone. More disappointing than the fact that one of these two lunatics is going to run this country for the next oh, few weeks <laughs> is that there's going to be no debates. Yeah. Yeah. The TV networks uh, put together a letter and asked the uh, the candidates to that are running to have a debate, and I can see... Joe Biden wanting to do it against Trump because he's going to look like a wandering old man and Trump's just going to destroy him. And also Trump always has a little secret up his sleeve for something. So uh, if I was Biden, I wouldn't want to do it. But in a way, he, you know, the lunacy of Trump sometimes gets out of hand and uh, he says some things that could, like right now I'm voting for Trump because I can't vote for Biden. But then Trump may say something during the debate where I'm like, I can't, I can't do it. It's insane. And, and that could happen to a lot of people. Remember that the first debate they had last time was just a complete disaster. Yeah, they were dude. both just screaming over each other. Yeah. And everybody bitched about it afterwards saying that nothing got done. It was an embarrassment. Yeah. Uh, but I think that they should, I think they should come up with some format. I mean, yeah. you know, after, after the Republican candidates something. got crazy. Yeah the moderators changed and the moderators kept a little bit of pace. I mean, to do what Galvin always says, just cut their mic off. Yeah. So if they yeah. get too, I mean, it's something a little disrespectful about cutting a sitting president, a former president's mic while they're talking, <laughs> but if they can't follow the rules, they can't follow but the rules. But it's also disrespectful for both of them to be yelling and it's like, you're not getting anything done. But I do get it though, Galvin, because if I'm like, uh, all right, you had your time to talk, right? And then it goes over to me and I go, and then, you know, Galvin, I mean, you know, in his state, he's got a history of doing bad things. And I think there was a thing even where he was with a, a younger uh, underage girl. And I don't know. And then you're like, well, well hold on a second. <laughs> that would yeah. never happen. I want to talk about that. Yeah, but I also think that, uh, you know, we've all seen how people argue and how they do stuff. I think Ben Shapiro, whether you like him or not, oh, the guy is great at arguing absolutely. at any point, whatever it is. But and can he, I point out, though? No, you're interrupting me. <laughs> you're right. Shut yeah. my mic off. Uh, no, but whenever he does that, they'll be going and going and stuff. And he goes, all right, back to your, uh, you know, what you said there, blah, blah, blah. And then brings it back around, mm -hmm. which is great because he waits until they're done and then he eviscerates them. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a different than the, it's a different setting because in a, in a debate like that, Ben Shapiro, he also gives people enough rope to hang themselves, yeah, especially oh, yeah. when he's out with college students. And the super liberal ones come up to him. He's like, he know he pretty much knows the playbook, so he knows what they're going to do. If you get zinged a lot of times, you're like, wait a second, I wasn't planning for that. And you get very, you want to fight back immediately. And I don't think that, uh, not that he's never had a good opponent to debate, but when you're put in a situation with somebody who's equally as good at you as talking, it it definitely becomes a lot more hectic because neither one of you want to back down. Yeah. 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 But it just And if doesn't... you do back down, you seem like the the... Not the loser, but the one that's inferior. Weaker, weaker, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're the beta. But it, the thing is, is like Gio was saying, whenever they're talking over each other, it just does a yeah. disservice. You're, you don't hear anything, and it's just like, all right, this is terrible. Yeah, but it also reminds us that one of those two people is going to be our right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's why. So I, I, if, I think if Trump was smart, he wouldn't debate at all. Why? Because he's got too much... Legally. That's what he's done so far. Well, yeah, because I think uh, legally all they're going to bring up is all his and legal stuff. And then yeah. it's not really going to be a debate. It's just going to be him not being able to say anything because he's got gag orders. But and... then that's the easy way to get out of it. Uh, ask me about it, and I go, well, you know, I want to tell you, but I have a gag yeah. order. And talk to you. This is the way the system works. You, <laughs> yeah. you, you brought on these charges to stop me from running, and now I'm gagged. I can't even defend myself. It shows what a worse person you are. That would I, mean, I mean, there are plenty yeah. of ways around that. I don't know. God damn it. It's the most entertaining thing that's ever been on I television. Know. That's the thing. That yeah, but that, you never say never because, yeah, I know that right now there's no debates, but that could change. But then who who really doesn't want it? Because if Trump knows that it's Biden who's afraid of it, then I'd be like, sure, I'll do it. He won't do it. You know, he's the one backing out of it. Right. Because we know he's the one that's scared. I can't believe there's going to be an election this year. It feels like it well, was just yesterday. there's not. Oh, yeah, they were just talking about Taiwan being invaded by China today, so... Oh, that's going to affect our election. Uh, you don't think so? No, why, why, why would we not... What do you think, they're just going to stop an election because of the war somewhere else? If we're at... But if, if we're in the war, which... War, yeah. You're yeah. a wartime president. Yeah. Has that happened before? Uh, I, n Not to my knowledge, Right, but so you think that they're just going to stop our election process because of what's going on around the world? Oh, yeah, definitely. We if we're in a, World War III... might be a time to, to move in a new president. Oh, no way. No I want way. That. Listen, things get hectic. 
I don't know. I was going to make a joke, but if things are actually, <laughs> yeah. I don't know that I want Trump. <laughs> yeah, because think about it. If so, if you militarily, uh, if China moves on Taiwan and then we move on Taiwan, China already has so many. I mean, they got police stations here already. You know what I mean? They got a, over 100 transformers. You, you know what, though? You, you don't take into consideration. We have American people here. We have Southerners here. And we've got Northerners here. We got movies that are made about the gangs that we have within our cities. I, I agree. I agree with you. You go to Latin Kings and you go, hey, Latin Kings, that's hey, let's do this. Yeah. I'm going to turn you, you see a but Chinese policeman. Remember, take out. the FBI has reported that the Chinese government has been funding a lot of our inner city gangs and they've been funding yeah. the drug running and they've been funding the arms eh, that you know. they've been having. So it's not hard to believe that they would side with the Chinese. Plus, there are so many immigrants moving in here now. You know, they're going to be organized. It's going to it's going to get interesting. Uh, and they've so, been here for a while. Yeah. This says uh, only Congress has the power to move Election Day, which has kept its schedule. The U.S. has never delayed a presidential election, even during the Civil War, Spanish flu, any of that stuff. Yeah, but I'll that. tell you, our government's done enough to keep Donald Trump down. They, who says they won't move yeah. an election yeah. this year? Should, it hasn't been yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could be done. Yeah. Right. You it's got amazing. Russia t talking about using nukes now more and more. You got the Ukraine stuff that's not going away. I am I am in talking out of both sides of my mouth because I don't know what's going to I mean I can't vote for Joe Biden. Right. So, and people like, people give me a hard time on social media. Some guy made a joke yesterday he said uh Mike's voting for uh, Donald Trump so he could buy a third beach house tomorrow, <laughs> which is hilarious, but I, I, it's not my economy. Also, I, is that a bad thing? Right. <laughs> like, I, I but, don't understand. But saying that like um that almost like uh, rich people, the only one. I'm voting only because of my what I care That's about. How crazy! However, it's not. It, it's the it's the overall economy, yeah. and, uh, and and I, I Trump's not my first choice. Right. He's the only choice right now. But also, isn't it weird how this all coincides that people that are rich or people that make money are the worst people in the world? Yeah. Meanwhile, nobody's making any money. Right. Well, not nobody, but, but a lot of people are making money, and all the prices are being you know yeah. going up and everything. It's like. Who said that? Who said that the people yeah. making money are bad? Yeah. I'm telling you right now, I grew up so poor that when I was making forty two thousand dollars a year, I thought I was rich. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I look at I make forty and you make forty, we make eighty. And me and my wife were rich. Because that's a that's a big deal to me. I've never had a mentality of somebody who has a lot of money, and I don't now. I don't. I it, we've made such exaggerated jokes about it with the eleven refrigerators and all that stuff. Half of those are mini fridges that were already built into this house before I even moved in here. It's just become a long running joke. I'm I still I still think like a like a person who does not have a lot of money because I, I you know I I was saying yesterday on the show I want to buy that Hummer so bad I love that car. I drove it. I love it. It's awesome. I've been waiting for it for years. I would never just waste my money on it. It's ridiculously priced. And and I and I drive a fantastic car from Stingray Chevrolet. Why would I pass that up and add that kind of bill to it, it just doesn't make sense. Can I Tommy, afford it? Yes. Tommy, yeah. can you mark that when he gets the Hummer? We'll yes, play back. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you keep bringing it up. You're gonna get it. Damn it. <laughs> I'm getting a phone call from the state of Florida DMS. What is DMS? Department of Motor, Motor Safety. I can't answer it on no. the air, but I really want mm -hmm. to. Well, I'm wondering if I first. No, I can't because I don't want to put them on the air without their. Florida Department of Management Services. What are they managing? Uh, oh, they want you to be a manager. Business arm of Florida government with the primary mission to support sister agencies and current and former state employees with workforce and business-related functions so that's they can focus on their core missions. As because you uh, skipped the uh, jury duty. Ooh, uh, no, yeah. that's what it is. It's because my daughter is out sick today. It was a school calling to ah, say that she didn't yeah. go to school. There you go. But you can't beat the system here no. in Florida. No. In in uh, New York, all we had to do was forge a note the next day mm -hmm. and yeah. say this is from my parents why I was absent yesterday, uh, inclement weather or uh, <laughs> or some other Tummy thing. ache. Bees. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't Bees. feel good. <laughs> Bees, whatever it is, and yeah. just hand in a forged letter that your mother never yeah. sees, no big deal, and we would just skip and go to breakfast. <laughs> now my kids are late, and I get 40 automated phone calls. They email mm -hmm. you. There's yeah. no letting those There's no privacy the day. No. for anybody, yeah. Not for high school kids. They don't deserve it. No, yeah. Worst <laughs> group of humans on the planet. <laughs> they are. Yeah. I agree. People, people are racist. People are... Uh, homophobic not me i love everybody except high school kids yeah. you're all jerks <laughs> mm. and mostly because you don't listen to the yeah. show and they're so mean Mo you know how high school kids find out about this show because their mothers leave it on in the car yeah. their fathers leave it on in the car and they go what is this i didn't know is this like joe rogan yeah. is this like uh you know my favorite podcast is on the radio and it's free and it's there in the morning on our way to school yeah dummies 
I hate you all. <laughs> Ladies that, and gentlemen. That should get them. Yep. Well, the, the, thing, the good thing is that they got one in two years. They won't be t- teenagers anymore, and then they'll find us on their own. That's so right. We'll wait for you guys. Uh, it is time to check in with Galvin. He has a brand new open letter. And now, an open letter from Galvin. This is an open letter to Jobs. Dear Jobs, seriously? So, there's a saying. If you love your job, you'll never have to work a day in your life. You sure about that? Listen, I love my wife. I love my son. I love my dogs, my family. But I really like my job. I do. I get to hang out, make jokes, meet cool people, do fun stuff, uh, go on cruises. But I do have to get up at 3.30 in the morning. I'm not complaining because there's a lot of people out there that really hate their jobs. And I mean really hate them. Those are usually people that couldn't get any other job or they're doing some sort of crappy extra job to help take care of their kids. And to those people, I say, you shouldn't have had kids. (laughs) How about people that are way too into their job? Like they're 100% behind the company. They're into it and they make it their life. They're completely happy getting a pizza party instead of getting a raise. They laugh at all the boss's stupid jokes. When you pass them in the hall, they say stuff like, teamwork makes the dream work. Gross. I can't wait for you to get fired for budget cuts, Steve. (laughs) Another thing with jobs is padding the resume. I bet if you pulled up my resume that I sent when I got this job, I'd say there's probably nine out of ten things on there that I have no idea how to do. (laughs) But we all pad our resumes. We church it up a little bit. If you change the light bulb, you don't write, I can change a light bulb. You write something a little more fancy, like I can extract various wattage from luminescent technologies (laughs) to produce reliable photon output. (laughs) It's kind of like janitors wanting to be called maintenance engineers. You put sawdust on throw up. Let's not make it too (laughs) too highfalutin. I'm Galvin from the Mike Kelta Show, and this has been an open letter to jobs i don't even have a resume like i don't know what i'd if i had to apply for a job and do a resume now I don't well, even, what do I, I say i sent my resume here and i listed all the stuff that i could do you know play drums guitar blah 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 but also i put on there with adobe that i can do that uh I, but then there was some of the uh stuff at the station that i was working and i was like what is that and they're like that's vegas whatever and i was like okay i can do, vegas. I can do maestro you know uh, i mean all these different things i'm like i have no idea hopefully don't, they don't ask me how to do that stuff no no kidding <laughs> i i'm just saying like now like if i was to apply for a non-radio job I mean, oh, i've yeah. done this my whole life what do i say what do i tell the guys at uh walmart uh, what are your skills yeah i don't know being Talking awesome. to people, oh. yeah. making fun of people as they walk by. Being right. the coolest guy ever. <laughs> How can I apply these radio skills to what job? What job would this job put me at? Okay, you have organization, time I have management. I no organization or time well, management. Well, on your resume, you would say that. No, no, but I'm trying to think in real what life. You're what you're applying for? Yeah, like what job can this... Can Strip I, club DJ. Oh. Yeah. It, Hell yeah. It, but I've never done that. I don't know how to use the equipment. Uh, yeah, but, you know, that's something yeah, I think you could learn pretty quickly. You could be a, uh, a person at, like, live events, like you're there, you know. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, if I had to, if I had to go through the one ads and oh, yeah. find a, um, a job, what can I go in there and put down when they say, what kind of experience do you have? I go... Or what have you done for the last 30 years? <laughs> I sit in a room with a bunch of other people and right. I tell fart jokes. But the good thing <laughs> is, is you have a name in Tampa Bay where you yeah, can go yeah. somewhere and go. I, 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 look, I, I always think about it. If I left here, what other places would I want to work when not in radio? I'd love to do something with the hard rock. Oh, I'd be love a greeter. To work over there. But, I mean, not know. a greeter, like a casino host, though. Yeah, that would be, uh, bring you, in the whales. No, I don't think you would like that. I don't think you would like that because there would be some people that have a ton of money and think that they own you and they're like, go get me a, this. And that. You go get your own yeah. car. Get out of here. Yeah, you're right. I wouldn't like that. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, uh, if I was, I don't know, like a Frankie, if I worked at one of his restaurants, it's like a, like a Mater D or something. Yeah, I, cool. I like that. Yeah. You know? uh, Hard Rock, do you have a job where I just get to play blackjack? <laughs> Is that a thing that you guys have? Or no? I'll help your dealers. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. practice with them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's something. That's something we've always talked about that you definitely want to do. Not that you have any experience or any. Well, you do have experience. Uh, be a secret shopper. Oh, Ooh, I would love yeah. For that. restaurants or for bars, you want to tell them what's wrong with yeah. the place. Yeah. You would be a great critic of anything. 
Yes, because I'm honest. Food, mm. movies, yeah. You would be yeah. a great critic. I don't know if there's any money in that, but I yeah, would do there that is. for sure. Sure there yeah, is. Yeah, I would do that for sure. I, I could tell you if a movie's good yeah. because I'm not influenced by outside things. I told you that one time Ian wanted to do it, and I was like, I, I yeah. can't not say it's good. Right, yeah. You know, I can't say it's good if it stinks. We found your next job, Michael. All right. All right. Critic. I'm the critic. There you, yeah. Yeah, you can talk. So you'd be uh, slinging used cars out at Stingray Chevy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know that I have those skills. Yeah, you do. Cause it's, no, I don't. And here's why, okay? Well, the car's going to cost you 38000 That's the best we could do, but you're getting a great deal on the car. Oh, this is terrible. What's wrong? My budget was 32000 Well, there's a big difference between thirty two and thirty eight. I don't think we can come down that low. It's just that I have two kids, and I'm working two jobs, and I'm like, all right, I'll, I'll, take the car. Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. pay for it. Also, <laughs> also, I have a feeling there would be a lot of, uh, is there anything else I could do? <laughs> uh, <laughs> figure something out. Yeah. Oh, Never no. mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> I would just feel bad for everybody who had a hard yeah. story. You know? Yeah. 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 Just, t- just take take the keys and walk out of here. Yeah. You could take Charlie Belcher's job, Michael. Well, I don't, that would be a good job. Listen to me. I definitely couldn't take it well, because uh, Charlie is one of the most beloved television men in Tampa Bay. But I also, Joe, have tried to um, duplicate it. I wanted to be the Charlie Belcher of afternoons. I said, why can't I go out and do what Charlie does in the morning during the, yeah. uh, the evening news? They just didn't want me. I I think they Charlie this area yeah right? something in my Aww. face is not attractive. <laughs> and I I think even Charlie is like said maybe I could fill in for him while he's on vacation. They're like oh, we don't really know. yeah oh. yeah not a fan. I can only imagine it's because I'm so ugly. Nah, uh, yeah. I would no. I would think that it's probably more of. Uh, uh, I don't think we can control him. He's uh, a shock jock. Geez. Yeah, you know? Yeah, that's so weird. So nineties. Well, I mean just. How many years has this show been on the air? What has happened? Yeah, you know, yeah exactly. The anytime this show has always got into the news for having some sort of conflict has always been based on some other outside right. source. Yeah, nothing to do here. And we have not been in. We have not been. Uh, I've never been fined by the FCC. I've never had any problems there. Oh boy, here uh, it comes. <laughs> what? <laughs> now they're going to be. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no. Start digging. Yeah. It was. I just brought that up because it's why I lost a job one time. Somebody, yeah. mm-hmm, we know who, mm-hmm. complained to the FCC, and uh, they got nervous and fired me. And turned out the the complaints were fake, and uh, there was never any fine. So, you know, I don't know where Charlie Belcher is right now, but I want to eat ten of those sandwiches. Ooh, that oh, Cubans! Yeah. Cubans! Yeah. Oh my god! I don't even like cheese, and they're making or like whatever they put on Swiss cheese, don't they? Yeah, Ugh. it's good. I don't Humans are so good. At all? <laughs> no. uh, what's his name? Uh, Andrew uh, Schultz was talking about that the other day about Cuban people. He goes, Cuban sandwich. He goes, yeah, that's our sandwich, whatever. He goes, you have Swiss cheese. You have uh, you have uh, something French other. Bread. French bread, some other ham. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Cuban. Yeah, yeah. Cuban. that's ours. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. 727-579-1025 or 800-771-1025. Don't forget, on Saturday, April 20th, that's right around the corner, you can join Shark Coast Tactical as they have Daniel Defense Day. There'll be great deals on everything Daniel Defense. It's the premier AR manufacturer in the country, and their crew will be in the shop. They'll be there to answer all your questions. And for the event, uh, Daniel Defense is collaborating on a special Shark Coast AR only available at Shark Coast Tactical. Daniel Defense ARs, suppressors, and SBRs are the best in the industry. And at Shark Coast, you get your tax stamp in just about three days. Can you believe that? I waited almost a year, and now you can get a turnaround in about three days for a tax stamp for a suppressor. Don't miss Daniel Defense days at Shark Coast Tactical. It's Saturday, April 20th. And if you like saving money on the best quality products around and short waste, time, waste times on suppressors, do yourself a favor and drive to Shark Coast Tactical for Daniel Defense Day. Huge savings on everything in the store. Incredible giveaways. They always give away. The minute you walk in, they hand you a raffle ticket. They're always giving stuff away. And expert guidance all on all your personal protection and home defense needs. The shop itself is open, slinging freedom from 10 to 6 daily. Closed on Sunday, but open online 24-7 at SharkCoastTactical.com. It's Shark Coast Tactical. They're located on Bee Ridge Road in Sarasota. You can find them on social media. Stop in there. Tell them you heard them about it on the Mike Calta Show. And don't forget, on Saturday, April 20th, it is Daniel Defense Day at Shark Coast Tactical. Quick break. It's the Mike Calta Show. This is 1025 The Bone. Good morning, guys. How are you today? Good, sir. How are you? Good. I, I was thinking, Mike, the great greatest job for you would be uh, running the uh, Hard Rock Poker Room Pit Boss. You know, I feel like I'm a pit boss type. I walk around with one of those uh, things that they use yeah. to collect the dice, like one of those sticks on the craps table. Mm-hmm. I just walk around and hit people go. with it. All right, I have well. a quick question for you also. Uh, yeah. Do you spend the same amount of time uh, 
trying to keep your facial hair clean as it would just shaving it all off every day. Because I have about the same amount of facial hair as you do, and I spend the same time it would to keep it clean looking as it does to, to shave it off every day. I fortunately so don't have the uh, – I, I don't have to go out into the public – it, for a job like i don't have to keep it clean you know what i mean like i don't get up in the morning and yeah. shave because before i come do this show so uh, i would say like every two days i give it a little a little shave trim up but i do lotion we'll my beard up. because my chin gets very dry and i get a chest full of uh chin dandruff <laughs> great talking to you guys yeah. great show Thank thanks you, pal. for taking my call just two guys talking about yeah the facial hair i don't mind that at all Phone lines are open if you'd like to know what I do for my armpits or my <laughs> dental hygiene. Uh, I want to send some love out to one of our listeners that we call uh, Finally Dave because when we were on in afternoons, he used to be the last caller of the day, and he'd say, and finally, and he'd go over some stuff about the show. Uh, he is a great guy and a uh, great listener to the uh, station, and unfortunately he is having some medical issues right now, which I don't really know the full uh, he was on the cruise with us, yeah, he yeah. Was. and he was healthy and great, and he's not like a sloppy drunk or anything like that. And then he came home, and from what I understand, he was changing a tire, and then he had some medical issues, and then he had to go to the hospital and was having surgery. So we send him all the uh, prayers and love and uh, hope. I don't have an update, but hopefully everything is going great with him because uh, he's yeah, like, a, super like I could have picked two guys on the cruise I would rather have, have had medical <laughs> Wait, problems. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, like, I mean, I like everybody, but there's like at least – Two to four guys, I go, oh, yeah, I'd rather him get it than Dave, you know? Yeah, right. Dave's a super nice guy. He comes out to uh, almost all the events and stuff. And, not yeah. a, not like a pain in the ass, not no. clingy. No, he's no. not annoying. He's just a good dude that we that we get to hang out with, you know? Bought sure. me a shot glass in Nassau. Mm -hmm. Bought you a shot glass? That had boobies on it, yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I saw this and I thought of you. I said, thank you. <laughs> yeah, sometimes some things are yeah. so associated with other people. How do I get the hiccups all the time? <laughs> Swallowing too much air. Is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> Spin it out. <laughs> that, that'll that. Anybody watch the Joker trailer? Joker 2? No, I saw that it was uh, there. I have not watched it yet. What do you think? I don't know. I just started to watch it before we came back on the air, and then I had to stop paying attention to it. So. I was talking to Spanish about it in the off, off air. I don't think I'm going to like Lady Gaga in the yeah. movie. I think she's pretty good. Like, I thought <sighs> she was great in the uh, in Star, the is, Star Born. is Born. Yeah, and I don't know. I think she, you know... But I, I think I might be over her. Yeah, I think that's, that's how it I is. kind of am too. Yeah. I, like I said, it's, it's hard to tell from a trailer. It's only like a minute long. Like it looks yeah, it's a cool, teaser. but she looks I don't know, like very. I don't like her. But so it, my question is, where does she? How does she meet the Joker? Because he's in jail, right? Yes. And we have no Batman yet in the in the Joker movie. No, and she's in jail also. But that's not how Harley Quinn was. Harley Quinn was his doctor, Correct. wasn't he? Therapist, yeah. yeah. Therapist, yeah. And she so why are they falls in that vat? And then goes crazy. Right. Well, I thought he put it, pushed her in it. Yeah. 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 So why don't they make? Why do they not do? That? I, don't I don't know. And it's supposed to be a musical, yeah. right? It's yeah. a musical. So that's gonna be lame. But I, is I it full on though. musical or is there music in it? That's right. that's what I heard was Todd Phillips said that I didn't think of it as a musical, but it definitely has music. Yeah, in it has it. a it scene. Like, Remember yeah. Spider-Man yeah, had a like, song and dance scene in one of them? The worst. It was, it was the, the worst. worst. Yeah. <laughs> but we but, get Lady Gaga's in it, so we got to hear her dumb voice, and she's got to <laughs> sing, and it's, get out. I'm just over wow, her. this guy. Yeah. I got to tell you, though, listen, Lady Gaga is very talented. She's oh, great. Yeah. Yeah. There was uh, the show where they have the table read for A Star is Born, and she starts singing Shallow. And like in a room full of people just sitting there, whatever, and she cranks it out and sounds so good. Right. But I feel like they beat that dead horse into the ground. Also interesting is that Margot Robbie, I thought, did a really good job uh, in Suicide Squad, yeah. whatever. But then that standalone movie that she did was Birds of over the top. I yeah. never even saw it. Well, I saw like a little bit of it. I remember seeing the trailer. And I go, this is to be awful. But now can you do Harley Quinn without doing crazy margot robbie I know. harley quinn yeah how is she gonna play is she gonna play all like psycho yeah zoned out yeah, yeah. Out, that's exactly you know? what she's gonna do yeah i mean i just watched the trailer i looked at it i couldn't hear it but it doesn't sound bad but there are musical scenes in it but um I mean, the first one was amazing really but are we getting good. away from I now are we getting away from that the joker is the bad guy in batman now it's Correct, just this yeah. weird yeah. guy who laughs a lot pretty much yeah they're, they make you feel bad for him like, I don't think this is going to connect to Batman at all either. 
That's well, remember at the end, uh, the cell next to him is uh, what is it? The Rid- not the Riddler. Yeah, the Riddler. No, you're thinking of um, of Batman the when Batman. they put the Riddler away. Joker's in the cell. Oh, Joker. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. See, I originally thought that this was going to connect to the Robert, uh, the uh, Robert Pattinson Batman eventually, but that'd be that, cool. That's not the case. No, no, no. This is an entirely different yeah, universe. Totally separate. But I Todd know. Phillips is great. Like Todd yeah. Phillips makes good movies. Yeah, I think you know. I think I just I don't think I'm gonna like Lady Gaga based on the trailer. Could be. She looks kind of like a wet dog. Yeah. And just, <laughs> so does he though. Yeah. Like I think it's perfect. They're, they're but perfect he makes it work for some. He's so good, man. He's so good. Oh, whenever they come over to his apartment and then he lets the little guy go <laughs> and stuff, and the way he scares them and everything. <laughs> yeah. And it's just so good. Yeah. I'm not gonna hurt you. You always been yeah. nice to me. <laughs> oh God. Todd uh, Phillips has made some great movies. He really has. I didn't realize. Old yeah. school. Due date. Yeah. 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 Hangovers. War dogs. Those guys, when they go into other genres, always end up yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike Cal, the show. Good morning. Hey guys, this is scary. Hey, I just had an idea for a, uh, another job for you. You're talking about with your deep and clear voice. You'd probably make one a heck of an auctioneer. Uh, I don't know if I can go as fast. Hey, no, 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 yeah, I, be a fun job for you. I have done that uh, at charity events before. Not so, not in the fast kind of way. Like not like. Can I get five, 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 there, five, fifty, five, fifty? Like, I not that, but I go, I'd go. Hey, uh, we got this for a hundred bucks. Hey, this guy, I know you. You own a steel company. You should pay him five hundred bucks for this. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm on it, sir. Thank you. You know what job I think I would do if I wasn't working here? I would uh, work on the uh, cruise ship. Washy, 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 washy. <laughs> would you ever go back to being a line dance announcer? <laughs> Back, back to it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I didn't. I wasn't a line dance announcer. No. I Where thought is you that were. coming from? You did it. You once, did. You told no, me that story. was square dancing. Oh, okay. Same thing. No, yeah. it's not. No. Square dancing goes in a square, Dancy line know. dancing in a line. <laughs> yeah. Carmen, I'm with you. It's the same thing. Now, same. promenade. Do see do with your partner yeah. and promenade. Hey. Turn yeah. spin. I can honestly say uh, I'm probably the only one in this room who could say I square dance with my great grandmother. Yeah, that's true. I that's never true. square danced with yeah. your great grandmother. No, I didn't. Nor did I. Yeah. So. She was quite the tapper. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I salsa danced with my great grandmother. Did you really? Yeah. I danced a kiss with my uh, grandmother, and she was holding an acoustic guitar, pretending like she was playing. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> my grandmother calls me one day, and she's like, "Michael, I heard this rock song." You probably know it. I don't know it. I love it. I want to know more about that. I was like, oh, my God. What? So what could it be? Is it Bon No, I know Bon Jovi. I know Springsteen because she lived in Jersey. This one here, it was, uh, I forgot why she liked it so much, but she, do you want any idea what you want to guess what it might have been? What? Yeah, never going to guess. Yeah. Never. It was Dire Straits' Walk of Life. Yeah. Uh-huh. She heard that song somewhere and she was, I love this song. Huh? Okay. I say that. My, you know what my dad did not like whenever we would put the uh, music on in the car? He hates choruses. So he goes, Rocky like Hurricane. I get it. Rocky like Hurricane. Over and over. They keep on saying, I go, well, sorry, the Four Seasons yeah. didn't have choruses oh. in their songs or whatever. They're like. just the Four Seasons. Yeah. Yeah. It's because your dad's a spy and he locks in all these things and the repetition is killing his brain. But then I finally got him. I go, really? Jump. Jump in, <laughs> jump real Yeah, Galvin's dad assistant. loves the porn <laughs> <laughs> jump, jump in. I uh, I don't. I try so hard to appreciate my son's music, but it is really terrible. Yeah, mm. it's pretty bad. It's a lot of just the mumble rap is bad. Yeah, it's not. I mean, it's like there was a mumble rap, and then there's kind of this in between thing that they're doing. It's yeah, talk, it's... talks, talking, mumbling. Yeah. I don't really know. But yeah, I don't, I don't it. get it. I, it. He and a lot of there are people my age that love it. That I again, I can't understand any of what they're saying. So what are they, I, are they uh, rapping about cars and bitches these days, still, or what's the new thing? Yeah, no, still no, cars no, and bitches. No, it's private PJs, private jets, and oh, uh, yeah, and uh, they got good taste. AP watches, private jets. I mean, they they really know where the uh, where the money goes these days. Mm-hmm. But I don't really, I don't, I don't understand it. We were supposed to have this guy come in here. This Isaiah TG, uh, he was in Orlando and he was coming here to perform and he was going to come in the studio and Bert was going to be here and he wanted to meet Bert and Bert wanted and it was going to be good. And then the guy bailed on us. And the more I look at it, the more I think he suffers from depression and he can't get out of bed sometimes, this guy, because he's like, yo, I have to shut my Instagram down for a couple of days. <laughs> like Aww. he's one of those people I know. 
Oh, let's say like an old grandmother. Yeah, it's like, sad. Oh. It sucks. Because you're spiritual now? Mm. <laughs> he no, feels for everyone. Yeah. All beings Jesus. in the Spanish. universe. Where are you posting your, your spiritual Spanish videos? What do you mean? Like, like where can people find them? On Instagram? Like, on, I uh, refuse to repost them because I hate them. Right. Where can people so find them? So you can find them, uh, I believe. Uh, let me you don't know sure your own that. Instagram? No, I just want to make, sure, the worst. I just wanna make sure I get it right. You know what I mean? I don't want to just start saying Spanish it. Spanish goes Sad out. underscore weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Spanish uh, goes out and he records a new video in his hammock every day with his stupid beads in his hammock. <laughs> and he does spiritual stuff. And he's like, you know, there's one to be one with nature, there's to be one with God. What do you do? I, I refuse to watch him. What are you doing on there? Are you giving advice? Or are you just telling about your day? Or I'm just what talking you- about my experience. Like the last one I did was about uh, drinking, being spiritual and drinking and doing drugs. Because a lot of people... <laughs> A lot of people think that when you're spiritual, <laughs> you don't you don't party. Yeah, and that's not the case. Like it's all about finding. Meanwhile, the balance. spirituality probably came out of doing drugs, For sure. mushrooms. Yeah, 100%. And all that. I think I'm spiritual. Do you think I'm spiritual? I do. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I'm spiritual. I think you are. I don't. I, I think you are. I, I think you're probably Why? more spiritual than you because you talk to yourself a lot and you have a. What? What am I talking to myself? You talk <laughs> yeah, to yourself. How would you know that? I oh, I hear him talk to himself all the time. He's not talking to you. No, you talking. hear Galvin talking to himself all the time? I mean, maybe not all the time, but I've heard you talk to yourself when you're working on the computer. Right there. So Is anybody no, else no. in there? I mean, no, but I don't, I'm not at the spiritual level. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never heard him mumble. Uh, Joe, yes. Joe. Oh, Joe. Yes. Yes. Maybe I'm yeah. hearing Joe, but yes. I've, yeah. I've, I've awesome. looked, I thought I'd look over you and you'll just be like, oh, yeah. Oh. You've seen that? No. I, I, I'm i wrong. All right. Maybe yeah. I'm wrong. I've yeah. never seen that. Yeah. All right. Why are you staring at Galvin when he's working? <laughs> right. I enjoy his beautiful eyes. Who am I? Uh, who am I? Who am I? <laughs> that's, that's Joe. <laughs> that is Joe. That is definitely me. Uh, so that's wrong. So what else do I do? That <laughs> makes me spiritual. I don't know. Yeah, I, I really just don't think I am. I don't think that. Uh, do you believe in God? Not particularly. Well, being spiritual just means you believe in a higher power, and you see there's something. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Being spiritual, just in my opinion, just means you're you're discovering a connectedness of everything and. The, your individual self starts to fall away. Oof. Yeah, when do yeah. hammocks come in? Uh, I just love being in so the hammock. So he doesn't fall away? Yeah. The so hammock holds him? And I do it right in the back. And my, uh, If you want to check out my videos, it's spiritual underscore sanctuary 69. Oh. Spiritual <laughs> underscore sanctuary 69. 69, yeah. Is it often that uh, spiritual people make 69 jokes? <laughs> <laughs> they can if they want to. Uh-huh. I just, I, it makes me laugh. And 69, is, it's a sign for cancer. So yeah, my cancer. It, it, oh yeah, the yeah, 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 Oh yeah, okay, yeah. that mm-hmm. makes more mm-hmm. sense. My daughter is at the age where she laughs at sixty nine, but doesn't know what it means. Right, right. At least I think she doesn't know what it means. <laughs> um, but anyway, Spanish has got dumb videos. Right. And he makes them, and he's like, "Hey, if you want to post them on here, and I watch it." And I was like, "No, no, I don't." But he, they're on there, and people are watching them. Yeah, yeah. they're on the YouTube channel. Yes. Also, if you want to check them out on the YouTube, I'm the take sad, those down today. The sad weirdo channel is up and running <laughs> on I'm YouTube. That, I'm taking that off. Uh, we should, are the comments on? Are you allowed to yep. make comments yeah. on mm-hmm. it? How have the comments been? Comments are good. Yeah. Shockingly, yeah. So you can go to uh, YouTube.com, search the Mike out the show, and find your sad weirdo videos Correct. there. Will you guys talk among yourselves? I want to go look at this real quick. <laughs> I gotta see. We should put yeah. the uh, the. Pap Pap shared wisdom videos back up. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Those are great. Yeah. yeah. That I like. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Well, well I took your advice. I don't I don't need to be so serious in the videos. That was making me crazy. Hmm. I'd rather be Where's the shared weirdo stuff? <laughs> oh yeah, there you are. Mm-hmm. You wanna listen to one? No. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 No. Oh boy. Do you do the do the late do the newest one. No, don't tell do me one. what to do. <laughs> don't tell me what to do, god yeah. damn it. I don't, uh, how many are up there, like, you think? Uh, I think three. four, three or four. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. If I came in and was just loving Jesus and I said, listen, I've, I'm so loving Jesus now. Turned on. <laughs> and I, and I want to do, I want to do videos about it and talk about it. Would you, would you be like, that's cool? Or would you be like, would you secretly say to Joe and Gio and be like, oh my. <laughs> nah, I mean, I think I think it'd be a. I don't think I'd say anything behind your back, but I think it'd definitely be like that's cool. But that that is a little shocking. I imagine it was the same with me. Like, like Josh, our singer. Mm. He's what? How old is he? Forty years yeah. old. Yeah. And he just got baptized the other day. He's not weird about it. 
and I'm happy for him. Whatever he finds to make him happy is cool. But I, if he starts talking to me about it, I'm like, I don't know what to say. I don't believe any of yeah. that stuff. Like, I don't want to make it weird. But I'm that. very proud of him. I'm happy for yeah. him and all well, that. Well, I'm but glad you're at least not giving advice. Because if you were giving advice, I'd be like, nobody wants advice. Oh, really? Oh, uh, what? Oh, what? Hello. I'm Anthony. And welcome to the spirit. Anthony! Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. We have to listen to it. Yeah. You have to listen to yeah. it. Put those headphones You're the one on. doing it. You're Put doing those it. headphones on. If we have to listen to it, You're you have to listen to it. You're making it. Why are you making it if you can't even be proud of it? I, I, I just don't like being in the room with you guys. You Too guys are bad. mean. Too bad. Put your headphones on. Listen. They're on. Hello. I'm Anthony. And welcome to the spiritual sanctuary. Oh, my Today, God. I want to talk to you about deserving pain. Your mustache looks so dirty. Oh, it's, it's not you dirty. deserve so much pain for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's about deserving pain. I always hear people say I didn't deserve it. And the truth is, most of adults end up in situations where they feel pain because something that they have done themselves. Now, barring some crazy situations, you know that pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. And if you decide you want to look inward and truly heal those parts of you, oh my God. like uh, abandonment, oh, something that I suffer with. You I suffer from abandonment? Oh, yeah. Who abandoned you? <laughs> my mom. She's still here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not, uh, that's, not, uh, that's not how it works. To look but, inward you know, and heal my inner child, so to speak. Uh, I promise yeah. you can do it, too. And when you decide to use pain as the best teacher in the world. My gay friends just called. What did they say? said, you're gay. For self-healing, you will find parts about yourself that I bet you didn't know existed. There, you can heal and thrive. I love you. If you ever need help, don't be afraid to reach out. And don't forget, you can trust me. I got beats. I don't trust you. Yeah, man. Dear Jesus, yes. please make those trees fall while he's in the hammock. Nah, they're sturdy. Time. Please <laughs> fall to the ground, hit his head on a rock. There's sturdy trees? I don't even want you to die. I want you to be <laughs> how we're gonna have the feeding tube, and and you just see how you have that look. And I go, hey, how's your spirituality now, stupid? Wow. By the way, I could do a way better video than that because I could be more concise with it. Pain and suffering. Whenever you step your toe, just go yes. <laughs> That's all you have to do, and then you don't have the pain. Yep. Right? Yep. I love when you do that. <laughs> or oh, the karate. Hello, I'm Anthony. Oh, another, that, another one. No, no, that one right there is just. Enough. Hello, I'm Anthony. I want to punch that face. Yeah. Hey, oh, there's so, plenty up there, Carmen. Yeah, yeah. Go By the way, out. is Anthony different than Spanish? Is Anthony um, more serious? Well, there. I, I'll tell you off air why I'm doing that. I don't want to say on air, but there is a reason why I, I am doing that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Mike owns Hello, Spanish. Friends. In the name. I'm Spanish. And oh, now you're Spanish. Spanish. Oh. Yeah, that's the first one I did. I, oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hello, I'm Anthony. Welcome to the spiritual sanctuary. You know, a lot of people's biggest struggle in life will be learning to My love themselves. My biggest struggle is watching the stupid video. Well, that you know? I've discovered that's paramount to this is learning to love oneself for who you are, not what you've done. Oh my! God. What do you love yourself for? Oh man, I love myself uh, just for being me, for being alive. Gross. Yep. Yeah. Well, if you want to, hey, look, I know that I I don't share. Everything with everybody. You may be interested in Spanish's spiritual videos. You can find them on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube. dot com slash the Mike Cal the show. And on Go Instagram. Click on the steel weird steel. What is it? <laughs> Sad, Sad weirdos, weirdos oh, club. Weirdo. Or on uh, Instagram, uh, Spanish uh, underscore or spiritual, spiritual. underscore sanctuary sixty nine. Yeah. I feel like somebody's gonna come and talk to us and go, "You guys didn't see any signs? These stupid <laughs> videos <laughs> oh, that he was doing." Yeah, we were like, "Yeah, we knew. We were just letting help. it run its yeah. course." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what you gotta do. Yeah. yeah. Joe's filling these. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Galvin brought up a good point. It's interesting that this is the stuff that Joe decides to invest his video yeah. in. <laughs> Hello, I'm Anthony. <laughs> Hasn't done anything of... for 15 years yeah. and then decides to film nah. his weird friend in the woods. Now's yeah. my time. Yeah. yeah. This never, this isn't take us to the top. Has never come and said we've we got this great video. Just uh, this. Hello, I'm Anthony. Oh my god. <sighs> Sorry, Galvin. Sorry you had to deal with that. I, I yeah, I've uh Hello. been doing a very good job of not seeing those videos. <laughs> Hello, I'm Anthony. And then all of a sudden you're like, Hello, I'm Spanish. Hello. Hello. Oh, first one I'm was, Anthony. First one was Spanish. Then the other ones are Anthony. Don't do me a favor. Don't mention me in your videos. Oh, I definitely I wanna, do. 
I haven't heard one yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't it's at the end anymore. of the newest one. I oh. tell people yeah, to comment. One, yeah, the one I saw, you're like, Mike won't let me put this on the Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you so, said that? Yeah. 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 It's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. It's true. I told him no. Hello. I'm Anthony. What's it? Is it? Where's the newest one? Um, I, I saw it on Instagram. Know. Yeah, it's. I'm wearing a gray, the gray shirt, but yeah, I don't that, know. That's this one. Welcome to the spiritual sanctuary. Is it learn to love yourself? No. Oh, wow. It's um, balance. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, balance in the hammock. I hope you lose yeah. your balance. I won't. I'm very, I'm very skilled at balancing. Ugh. If there's somebody that's like. Hey man, in all seriousness, I watched that video and it helped me out. It made me feel good. Please, please call up. Yeah. I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear the impact you've had on one person. Uh, people have left me a bunch of messages. So, who are they? <laughs> you know, listeners. You know who it helps? Losers that are like, at least I'm not this guy. <laughs> 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 I'm doing better than this weirdo uh, uh, out in the woods. Uh, wow. Uh, all right. Yeah. All right. Good luck to you. Yeah. Thank you, Galvin. Yeah. For years, uh -huh. I've been using a company called Superheat and Air. Yes. You can use them as well if you go to superheatandair.com. They make these inverters now that go in indoor or outdoor, and they, they can go inside your house, they can go outside your house, and they just they cool off your house super quick, and they suck all the humidity out there. And when you're gearing up for a super hot summer and you're like, my AC is just not doing it anymore, they try those, man. I I remember I went to Chicago and Pete's mom had one and she closed the window and turned that on and in five seconds the whole house was freezing. Uh, I'm telling you, I've been using superheating air for years because they put in the units in this home. They put in units in my home prior. Uh, they come out and they do maintenance. When I got the beach house, they went out there and took care of that unit. They're the first people I call when it comes to AC, and that's why... When we were on the cruise and my friend Galvin had yeah, an emergency. I did. We went right to Dan at Superheat and Air. And what did he do? Uh, my AC was out. My son. Uh, Can you is, imagine being gone for a week and having to come home to a house that's been hot for days? Right. That's the problem. My son uh, said, hey, it seems hot in here. He got back from work. And I uh, said, send me a picture of the thermostat. And it was 77 oh, degrees oh, in the house. Oh, dare you. And I was like, no. <laughs> so I'm like, I got to get this fixed before we get. And we were at uh, getting ready to go to Coco K. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I'm on a cruise and this and that. Yeah. So you said to call Super Eat and Air. I called over there. Well, actually, I texted with Dan, and he said there's a tech already on the way. Oh, that's like great. literally, like already on the way. Didn't you know even... why? Because they've all been in that situation, and nobody wants to be without he, uh, AC in the summer. So I told him. I said my son's there. Here's his number. Whatever they coordinated, got in there, did it, took care of everything, cooled down immediately. Nice, beautiful. I was like, oh, so yeah. thankful. Because yeah, last thing you want to do is come home from a vacation and have a problem. Yeah, you know, and they yeah. solved the problem right there. It was it was awesome. Well, if you are having problems with your unit and you need a new one, or you may just need a uh, clean and tune on the unit, go to superheatandair.com, schedule your appointment, have them come on out there. If you need a new unit, they'll give you an estimate for it. And if you're having any problems, or if you expect that, hey, maybe this summer this might be the summer that the AC doesn't last, write their number down. Keep the your uh, uh, superheat and air in your phone because. They are there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, so you don't have to deal with any of that nonsense. Superheatandair.com. Tell them you heard about it on the Mike Calta Show. We'll take a quick break. We come back. We will play a little game. You want to play a little game? Sure, yeah. Play a little whose tweet is it next on 1025 The Bone. I watched the uh, the Joker trailer during the during the break. It actually looks pretty good. I mean, yeah. there, it is uh, definitely, I, I would say, a musical, but not, not into where they're all singing during the whole thing. There's just a lot of what's going on in his head. And as a result, it's him and Harley Quinn, and he's visualizing them dancing together and doing things. Okay, so, that's yeah, so but it doesn't seem like that's the whole movie. Variety says there's 15 songs in the movie. Yeah, wow. but I I think some of it is. Playing, but you might be right. Huh? Yeah, them, playing in the background while they're like doing hallucinations so. and right, stuff. Right, yeah, right. it's not worse than this. Hello, I'm Anthony. <laughs> now that's something that would really I was just not about to say that uh, he would fit right in at the Sad Weirdos Club. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Joker. <laughs> Yeah, he would. He'd 100%. take over. He, yeah. He'd Probably. take over. For sure. Yeah. I'd have to take a back seat on that one. Uh, I played Lenny Kravitz on the way in. Yeah. I saw a video yesterday. Now, I see Lenny Kravitz all the time. In fact, when we were in um, the Bahamas. That wasn't him. You're racist. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Yeah, go ahead. In fact, the girl. <laughs> it was a girl. Uh, the girl at Coco K that worked there, she, uh, Pete said, hey, where does Lenny Kravitz have a house? Because he has a place in, in uh, the Bahamas. And she goes, I don't, I don't know who that is. And we were like, you don't know who Lenny Kravitz is? And she goes, no. I go, you know, wait till you see the picture. You'll love him. Yeah. So Pete pulled up a picture and she was like, oh, no. She did. She knew who he was at that point. But um, he is in such phenomenal shape 
that if I were him, I'd never wear clothes. Not just a shirt, just no clothes. Right. He's got a big hog on him. He's got abs. Well, I watched a video of him working out yesterday. Have you seen this? No. Jesus Christ. He's First of all, he's always Lenny Kravitz, so he's wearing like a mesh shirt and like leather pants, and he's laying down on, on this inverted thing where a guy, a trainer, is holding his feet. He's upside down, and he's got probably 50-pound, 225-pound um, dumbbells, w- uh, no, oh, weights plates. on a bar, and he is laying down and back, and he is sitting up and then pushing it and then putting it down and laying it back down effortlessly yeah. just for about you know 20 times Damn. it was insane i go well i guess that's how you get muscles that's i guess geez. that's how the abs are formed <laughs> sweet jesus he's his body is incredible and to think that he i think he's older than me I think, you know, he might be like a year younger a year older than me so you're saying he was working out and doing that stuff he wasn't just sitting there eating a steak egg and cheese bagels <laughs> yes uh. imagine if now if that imagine if that brought muscles oh, we wouldn't man. be able to be yeah. in the same room watch out he's 59 oh my god yeah. I, thought he, I thought he was like 53 no, he's 59 wow. he does look great all right yeah he's a, he's amazing Shredded. that and weed those are the two keys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a secret, Michael. Yeah. I mm. I think he just recently got a uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I believe oh, that's cool. Her. Yeah. And his daughter was there, and his daughter was uh, bagging on him, and yeah. she said, uh, "My dad, who uh, doesn't think it's a shirt if you can't see your nipples, because <laughs> 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 yeah, he always wears the mesh shirts." And all that uh, can you imagine that man just just being that guy who's like no. just gonna wear a jacket with no shirt on? Must be nice. Yeah, and she's gorgeous too. She his daughter, is, yeah. Oh man, yeah, beautiful. she's very pretty. Zoe Saldana or uh, Zoe Saldana. You don't okay. even have to say anymore. Have to say it. Yeah, what was the say? Or Lenny Kravitz? No, so <laughs> gorgeous. Um, she is really, she oh. is really gorgeous. Have you watched her during like interviews when she does interviews for press? She seems like one of the most normal, down to earth girls that just likes to hang out and drink. I love black girls. Yeah, yeah, and the fact that she's Same. beautiful on top of that, and she's uh, yeah, yeah, that and she's, she's very- cool. She seems super cool. Yeah. Like I, I bet Beyonce without the Beyonce is awesome as well. Yeah, I agree you know what with I'm you. Saying? Yeah. Mm. All right. Anyway, we got stuff to give away, <laughs> Carmen. What is that stuff? We do. We have a bunch of stuff to give away. Yeah. Uh, we we have tickets for Heart and Cheap Trick. Bush Heart Garden. and Cheap Trick. Don't say it like it's. Don't pass it over like it's not two Rock great roll, bands that have been killing it since the seventies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Right. Uh, we have tickets for Bush Gardens, Stone Temple Pilots, and Brett Michaels. All right. You have your choice of tickets. As we play a little bit of Whose Tweet Is It, we'll get a, a winner, and then we'll pick somebody on the phone lines. All right, Galvin, what do we got? Uh, all right. So your first tweet up is this one. It says, are we forgetting how hot Nina was in those tight leather pants singing about the threat of nuclear war? Hashtag 99 left balloons. Done. Spanish is done. Done. Did we do the opening thing? No, we did not. Yeah, we'll do it. A- you just jumped right into it. Yeah. You want me to do it? No. Nah, don't worry. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Is everybody done? Carmen, you done? I'm, I'm done. done. Okay. Uh, Spanish, I'll start with you. Whose tweet is that? That is a Mo tweet. You said it's Mo. All right. Carmen, who do you have? Showing his age. He's old. That's Mo. He said it's Mo. Do you even know who Nina is? Nope. Do oh. you know what left balloons are? Nope. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you don't want to see 99 enough. No, <laughs> certainly don't. GL, who you got? Mo. You said it's Mo? <laughs> very, very disappointed, <laughs> Mo. Mo. Uh, and Mike Kelt, who do you think it is? Loves awful female singers from the 80s with one song. That is Mo. Uh, everybody gets a point. That yeah. is Mo yeah. with the 99 loft. Man, Nina was so hot. Balloons. She was not hot. <laughs> Nina Cherry was hot. <laughs> Uh, who was it that did a uh, remake? Was it Goldfinger? I think did a remake of that. a really good version of it. A what? No, Ninety nine left. Balloon? Yeah, no, yeah. Seven seconds. No, they did. A, they did a version. They may have, but that's not the one I'm talking about. Let me see. You're I wrong. Think, I want to say that I think it's Goldfinger. What is, is the? Uh, what is seven seconds? Seven seconds is a punk band that redid that song. It's, yeah, uh, Goldfinger is the one that I'm thinking of. Uh, all right, uh, your next tweet. Let's go to. Sorry, I opened my Spotify to see other stuff. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Does it blow your mind that we are all walking around with computers oh, in truly, our hands to have everything? We can not only look it up, but we can play it and do it just in a second. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. And that you can hold your phone up and I it'll know. figure out stuff. You what? can ask it. You can ask it questions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your next tweet. Y'all better stop 
effing with these elephants, but it actually spells it out. There's an asterisk where the C is. So y'all better stop blanking with these elephants. Whose tweet is that? I don't even know what that's referenced. Yeah, right? One more time. Y'all better stop blanking with these elephants. Done. Done. Ooh, can okay, I change your mind? All right. Mike's done, but he's changing his. Spanish is done. 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 Carmen's done, and Gio's done. Gio, whose tweet is that? Monica. He said it's Monica. Mike, who did you have? Who did you change oh, it to? no, it's not. Oh. I had Mo. Yeah. And then I changed it to Spike. Okay. It was a matter of who says y'all most. Hmm. Carmen, who do you think it is? Y'all is Greg off the mic. You said that's Greg off the mic. And Spanish, who you got? I said Dizzy. You said Dizzy. Mike Kelta, you should be kicking yourself because it was Mo. Damn. I, double, oh, damn it. I double mowed you on that yeah, one. Yeah, double it's... mowed me. Uh, no points for anyone on that one. How do you like that? Is that the video of the elephant that punches the girl in the face? That's, that's going great. Around? Oh, that's great. Video? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, You've right. not seen that? No, I saw it like three years ago. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't know whether that's what he was referencing or not. Uh, your next tweet. Today is a phenomenal day to be your own best friend. Spread joy and compassion. Make a difference in the world. Be grateful for your health. Recognize that life is magical. Show kindness to all. Now get out there and do it. I believe in you. Done. Done. Tough now. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Done. Have you been tweeting a lot? Maybe. Spanish is done. Carmen's done. Mike's done. Geo? Done. Done. Hmm. Spanish. Whose tweet is that? That's true. You said that's true. Mike Kelter, who you got? It was tough between spiritual Anthony <laughs> and Drew, but I went true. You say Drew. Carmen, who do you think it is? Anthony makes videos. <laughs> Drew tweets. That is Drew. Thank oh. you, Carmen. Geo, who you got? Drew. But now do you see how it goes? <laughs> uh, it is Drew. Everybody gets a point. <laughs> Everybody yeah. gets a point. Were you talking to yourself right there? <laughs> uh, I, may, I was talking to Spanish. Yeah. Why don't you guys do a show on the weekends? Yeah. Mm. No, thank you. Wake up and be happy show. Nah. You should do it at 6 a.m. Spiritual Saturday. Spiritual Saturday. No, no way. Oh, no, it cuts Ooh. into my sunrise. Do it on Sunday and call it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> that, the imaging would be a lot of fun. Jesus Christ. And now, back to uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, all right. Everybody uh, is tied at two right now. Everybody's right. tied at two. Here we go. Could be a winner right here. Uh, your next tweet. Holy S. But they wrote it out. I obviously can't say it. Two exclamation points. Hashtag Caitlin Clark is not all capital letters losing today. Hashtag NCAA. Hashtag Iowa Hawkeyes. Holy ass! Caitlin Clark is not losing today. Done. Carmen's done. Geo's done. 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 Mike's done. done. Spanish is done. Carmen, you win it all right here. Who you got? FTW. That is Monica. He says Monica. She likes the ladies. I mean, like she's, oh, yeah. no, she likes to yeah. support yeah. that lady. Yeah. yeah, she supports <laughs> uh, Gio, who you got? That is uh, Clark fan Monica. He <laughs> says Monica. Mike Kelta could win it all right here. Who do you think it is? I also said it was Monica. Say Monica. Yeah. Spanish. Uh, you can take it. Who you got? John Senning. He said it's John Senning. Nobody wins the game because nobody got a point. That was Johnny B. Oh. Ah, that was my second choice. Oh, that was Johnny B. Loves the ladies. Loves it. Uh, all right. Your next tweet could have a winner right here is you think you're involved in a fight, but you're just over there punching air for attention. And then it has two laughing face emojis. Done. Wait, say that again. You think you're in for a fight. You think you're you think you are involved in a fight, but you're just over there punching air for attention. And then two laughing face emojis with the crying. Spanish is done. Yes. Done. Done. Mike's done. Geo's done. Done. Carmen's done. Carmen, who you got? I was in doubt, so I will coonst it out. Geo. Mo. Spanish. Dizzy. And Mike Kelta. Same she says, Carmen. I was in doubt. I will coonst it out. One of you just won the game. Damn it. 
And he did a cool little move with his hand. Oh, yeah. Spanish is the winner. Yeah. That was Dizzy. Finally. That was, that was a spiritual dizzy. move. It's been yeah. so long since I've won this game. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, because you, right? you were winning like all the time with yeah. this. Yeah. And then uh, Geo started winning all the time. Same with Carmen. Pick a line, Spanish. Line three, please. Line three. Good morning. Who's this? Uh, Donald. Donald Spiritual Anthony won a prize for you. Please hold on. It's going to be a minute, okay? Woo-hoo, thank you. Woo. Hold on, buddy. All right. Do we have time to do another one or no? If we uh, don't. We don't have to. We're yeah, no, late. no. We have. I mean, was, I have them. Yeah, we let's just time. do another. One. We have time. Real quick, though, could we call you Spiritual Spanish Anthony and then spell it backwards? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> With the initials? Oh, it's not cool. cool. <laughs> not, not, that was well done. That's Bill's ass. Yeah, 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 well done. You got it. Not you cool. Got it. it took a little while. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. First tweet, second round. I am very grateful to be alive and able to complain about relatively inconsequential matters like Madonna taking the stage after 1030 on a weeknight with no air conditioning per artist request and not singing Borderline or Lucky Star. Done. Um, Done. Spanish done. is done. Mike's done. Everybody's done. All right. Uh, Spanish, you won the last game. I'm going to start with you. Whose tweet is that? Stupid tweet, stupid Mo. That's Mo. Mike Kelta, who you got? Maximizing the amount of uh, characters. That is Drew. He said it's Drew. Gio, what do you think? That is Drew. He said it's Drew. Damn Carmen, it. how about you? I say that is Mo. He said it's yes. Mo. Two of you said Mo. Two of you said Drew. Two of you got points. It's Mike and Geo. That Damn was it. Drew. That was Drew. Ooh, could you imagine going to a show and per artist request, no air conditioning? That's no, gross. no air conditioning. I get my money back. Right? I and mean, how first many, off, how late was she? Two uh, hours. It's, what did it say? I, <laughs> yeah, an hour late is enough for me. Yeah. You know Wait, what I mean? I, I, that was a real thing? Yeah, there was yeah, no yeah. AC? She was late. At, you know, she's being sued oh for showing up late to her shows. Yeah. And then and I don't no. know that she was late for this one, but she referenced being sued by the other people. Listen, you're. I'm spending a lot of money on tickets to go see Madonna, and if you're telling me I got to, you're gonna put phantom hours in there where I got to sit there doing nothing in the hot room. That's ridiculous. I and so I saw on social media a lot of ladies were dressing up for Madonna, sure. like Madonna. A lot of them shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know who else shouldn't? Madonna. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Boy. Uh, all right, here we go. Your next tweet. Uh, Mike has one. Geo has one. Your next tweet. Where's the best place in St. Pete to get some fried fish? Hmm. Who sweet is that? Done. Who, done. Looks, like a, who looks like a fish person? Hmm. Done. Right, uh, Carmen's done. Gio's done. Done. Spanish is done. I'm done. Mike's done. Uh, Carmen, I'm going to start with you. Who sweet is that? I know this person is obsessed. With fish sandwiches. Oh yeah, that is Monica. That's Monica. Loves oh. loves the ladies and fish, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right. Yep. Interesting. All right. Interesting. <laughs> like the uh, hot what tuna. Was that, Joe? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her if she likes red snapper. Uh, in Spanish. <laughs> who do you have? <laughs> <laughs> that was Spike. By the way, Monica, totally into dudes. Like, yeah. just yeah. Jack <laughs> yeah. Never made any referencing to like uh, girls at all. I'm sorry, who'd you say? I said um, a Spike. You say Spike. Uh, Gio, who you got? That's old Fried Fish Will. Fried Fish Will. That's what we used to call him. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Mike Helta, who you got? Oh, that's Smoke Mullet Fried Fish Spike. <laughs> you say that's Spike? Yeah. Uh, Smoked. No points. That was oh. Dizzy. Dizzy oh, looking for the what? fried fish. Yeah. Come on, Spanish. Help him out. I know. Dizzy text me, bro. Uh, this has a picture of an apple on a uh, paper towel sitting somewhere. I can't really tell where it is. Maybe in a uh, one of the studios or something. It says, still here after four days. Someone set a nice table replete with utensils and then vanished. Poof. Gone. A total Kaiser Sose. The greatest trick an apple ever pulled was convincing the world it was healthy. What? <laughs> Whoa. That's what you uh, got to figure right? out. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I will tell you that it's, uh, maybe it's in Bone TV. Yeah, it looks like it's in the Bone TV studio. I can tell you, yep, it sure is. Mm. Done. I would show Joe, but he doesn't know. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike Elt is done. Done. I'm done. Done. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Everybody's done. Sorry. I'm getting an email that these idiots don't know what they're doing back at the studio. <laughs> Not you, Carl. Oh. Uh, commercial. Different stuff. idiot. Yeah. Uh, Geo, <laughs> what do you have? 
Will. You said it's Will. Old Apple Will. <laughs> Old Apple Bottom Will. <laughs> yeah. uh, Spanish? I said that was John Senning. Mike Kelta. Maximizing the characters. I said it's Drew. You said it's Drew. Carmen, who do you have? I think that is John Senning. Mm, interesting. You guys think of this. No points. Oh, that nah. was Mo. Damn it. Nice. You should have known it was Mo. I'm a stupid <laughs> replete with <laughs> utensils. Uh, all right, here we go. Re- replete is the word he used. Yeah, replete. Uh, the giant at Cheez It has sunglasses on. Four exclamation points. OMG. What if Cheez It and the Pop Tart became friends? I need to see them holding giant mascot hands. The big Cheez It needs to lie in a huge snack bowl next to the toaster. My brain can't take this. Then it has a smiling emoji, a heart emoji, hands clapping emoji, oh, uh, done. face with done. hearts emoji, and done. face with stars emoji. Everybody done? Count to yes. three. One, two, three. Monica. Monica. Everybody gets a point. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Old lesbian right. Monica. Oh, that's <laughs> Old you, lesbian I'm, fish uh, fry Monica. Oh. You're saying it over there. I didn't say it over here. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, by the way, Mike has two. Geo has two. Spanish and Carmen both have one. Oh. All right. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, this has a video of uh, Hart whenever they were doing Zeppelin for the uh, Kennedy Center or whatever the awards were, and it says when the chorus is re- when the chorus is revealed, the look on the members of Led Zeppelin faces top ten internet moment. Done. Geo's done. Done. Mike's done. Done. Carmen's done. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Done. Spanish is done. All right. Carmen, see if you can tie it up here. Who you got? I said it's Mo. You said it's Mo. Spanish, you could tie it up. Who you got? Racist tweet, racist Mo. I don't know how it's racist, but you say Mo. All right. Mike Kelta, you can win the whole game right and here. I will. And I will. Who do you say it is? It's Mo. You say it's Mo. Geo, you could win the whole game right here. Who you got? Mo. Everybody says Mo. We got ourselves a runoff. Yeah. All right. That was now Mo. Now we're talking. Right. So, Spanish and Carmen, Anybody's you game. are out. Losers. You go ahead and take your headphones off. Go <laughs> for the rest of the day. You're done. <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, all right. Carmen, hardest working, least want to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm still struggling from the bus. I, was, yeah. I get these moments where I'm like, I'm rocking from the man. bus. The bus. You said the bus. The bus. The boat. Yeah, the boat. Oh, yeah. The bus. All of it. Jeez. <laughs> all of it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. This is for uh, Geo and Mike Kelta. High thoughts. What do people born blind see when they go to sleep, since they have no frame of reference? Mm. Whose tweet is that? Think about. You said high thoughts. High thoughts. Colon. What do people born blind see when they go to sleep? Dot, dot, dot. Since they have no frame of reference. Done. Carmen's out. Too fancy for this guy. Done. Spanish is out. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is tough. Done. Geo's done. Done. My Celt is done. Geo, I'm going to start with you. you win it all right here. FTW, who do you got? That is Evan. You say that's Ethan. This is <laughs> Evan. <laughs> you don't get the name right. You don't get all the right. point Ethan. if that's what it is. All right. You see, you say Ethan. Mike Kelta. You could win it all right here. FTW. Who Had to got? find somebody who is on the weed, mm-hmm. wordy, mm. but also intelligent uh. for using frame of reference. Like Dizzy <laughs> is not saying frame of reference. Oh, I yeah. said that's Drew Garabo. That's interesting. You should apologize to Dizzy. <gasps> no wow. point. No point wow. on that sorry, one. Dude. Yeah. How dare you? How I, dare you say he's high that? thoughts? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's next thing you know, he'll be in my backyard. Oh, <laughs> maybe that's what he's trying to do. Steal your uh, thing. Steal your thunder. No, can't can't. Do Joe, it. are you available to uh, <laughs> video Dizzy? Video high thoughts. I might be able to. Yeah. Anything but me. Well, I like to help people out, Michael. I understand. Yeah. Uh, all right. This next tweet has a picture of uh, the Joker. But the Heath Ledger Joker, and it says, yeah, and he's pulling his uh, uh, suit coat open with the uh, grenades on there. He's yep. got the string on the grenade, and it says, me heading out of the Hard Rock Tampa tonight, breaking even. 
done. My Celt is done. Done. Geo is done. My Celta. Let's put it to bed. Who you got? For the win, that is Galvin. You say it's me. <laughs> Geo, who do you have? I wrote Galvin. Oh. Oh. Then I can say it to both of you. I don't break even. I, was just <laughs> 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 I win or I lose. I don't break even. Uh, that was Will. That was Will. So. All right, one more, and if that, we'll have two winners. All right. Uh, ba -ba Let me get it. I'm actually doing this on the fly now because right. uh, I, I ran out of uh, other ones, so I'm trying to find some of these. Uh, all right, let's go with this one. We will go search real quick and look at this. Okay. Oh no, we already did that one. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, done. Done. Oh. <laughs> uh, one more tweet, folks. One more. I need one more tweet no, no. that I haven't read yet. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> that yeah. Scared me. It scared me too. <laughs> Hello. I'm Anthony. Hello. Oh, no. All right. I have no idea who they're referencing in this. Maybe you guys know and you can figure it out, whatever. But uh, it says, thanks for your service at Carlton underscore low key and good luck in Detroit. Hashtag grave diggers. Done. Done. All right. Geo, whose tweet is that? John Senning. It's John Senning. I also have John oh. You're terrible. <laughs> that was uh, that was Johnny B. Oh. Uh, that was Johnny B. You want to do one more or no? Do you have one there? Yes. One more. Let me see if I can find another one real quick. And it's I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a little bit easier for you. Not gonna be Johnny B because I right. just switched from him. All right. So I'm gonna go with somebody else, and I'm gonna go with that guy. Work here. Mm. The African guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Time going. I'm gonna take my medicine. Yeah. I gotta tell you, there's a lot of tweets that would give Twitter it runs deep, man. A lot of tweets that would give it away, though, is the problem. Um, like what? The go Yankees. <laughs> pretty much. Oh my God! Come on. Okay. For the win, FTW. Nope, oh, we've done that one. Feeling, <laughs> feeling good. Uh, Carmen's out. Spanish out. Tie score. I'm back in. All right. Round oh. nine. <laughs> <laughs> so it has a uh, it has a magazine article. It says last night Saturday Night Live offered a pretty clear picture of what the show would have been if Shane Gillis hadn't James Shane Gillis hadn't been fired. And then it has a picture of the author of that article, and it says this is the tweet. It's always fun to see what the author of these pieces look like. Done. Geo's done. Done. Mike's done. Mike Kelta, who you got? I said that was Galvin. You said that's me. Gio, who do you think it is? I said that was Mo. Neither of you got it right. Oh, well. All right. Damn it's it. It's Gio, over. pick a line. Line five. Uh, line five is Scott. Is this Scott? Yes, this Good. is Scott. Good morning, Scott. You're our uh, tie winner. Please hold on. I will take line 17. Good morning. Is this Joe? Yes. Hi, Joe. You're also a winner. Please hold. There you go. Carmen will get the winners during the break. You'll have your choice of tickets. We will take a quick break and come back and wrap up the show. It's the Mike Calta Show. This is 102.5 The Bone. Mike Calta Show, good morning. Carmen? Hello? Hello? Yes, Can sir. you hear me? I can. Hi. I just wanted to tell you guys that I am extremely grateful for the service that you provide. Um, I just spent the past eight months in Tennessee, and let me tell you what, I wanted to rip my hair out with how <laughs> terrible their radio is. I grew up with the Cowhead Show. I grew up doing construction, so, like, the key to every day is having a radio. I was dying without you guys. Why didn't, so why didn't, you, just listen on the, why didn't you listen on the app? Uh, it's exactly what I had to do. Oh, good. I downloaded the iHeartRadio app, and then people made fun of me, so then I downloaded the actual 102.5 app. <laughs> well, but I... it was killing me not having you guys, because honestly, their radio just made me want to rip my hair out. You guys are the bomb.com. <laughs> well, I, I... I know that's not cool to say anymore. That's but That's all right. We'll take it. We'll take any compliment in any, uh, any decades lingo, sir. Thank you, and we're welcome back. 
Thank you so much. All right, pal. Take I'm care. actually going to put that on my uh, next resume. Some guy said we were the bomb. dot com. Uh huh. <laughs> find it. Mike Cal, the show. Good morning. Hey, what's up? It's Medicine Man. Did you hear that Deep Purple is coming? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> what is it going to be? Ruth A. Hall? Nope. At the Hard Rock, I think. Hard Rock in Tampa. Mm, yeah. 